Damn, Q. Maybe you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! Shot, shot versus a bite podcast episode one thirty five. Man, we got two uh two special guests in the building, man. Uh, I've been kind of like hearing about these dudes for a long time, man. Through my dog Cash made it. Finally got these two young gentlemen on the show. Mm-hmm. We got a uh, rapper, shit, business owner. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Q man. You feel me? Q man Jones. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mosquito Jones, man. What's good? What's up, man? What's up? Man? How you feel, man? Good, man. And to the left of him, we got producer, digital creator, manager, designer. A little artist, I see you get your little drawing and stuff, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, Miles Kessler, man, how you feel? Pretty good, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate y'all coming on the show, man. Yeah, for sure. Uh, for sure. we always start everything off with a salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away and make that long Facebook post, like, man, we miss Craig, or you right. know what I'm saying, like, right. instead of telling them that we love them while they're still here and smell them flowers, mm-hmm. but. It can't be an easy answer. It can't be mom, dad. can't be kids. It got to be somebody outside of that immediate circle that you can go ahead and give some flowers to. Mm-hmm. So y'all got somebody in mind that y'all want to shout out? Mm-hmm. I'm going to shout out Spitter, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm going to shout out Spitter, Currency, bro. Mm-hmm. Shit my dog out because, um, shit, I learned a lot from him from the outside looking What's in. I, don't, I ain't never meet dog, but shit. Yeah. I learned a lot of the game as far as his music shit goes For sure. from dog. So I'm going to give him his flowers. Man, one of the most underrated rappers Around man, I've been hooked on him since Young Money before it. Drake and all them was on there, man. That's a fact. Hell yeah, currency is spitter, man. What about you, Miles, man? You got somebody you want to salute, give some flowers to? We're going artists. It could be anybody. personal, anybody. Just well, since he went artist, I'll 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 go artist. But uh I think he gets his flowers, but I have to give it to Nas just yeah. because. Are oh, you a good person? Yeah, <laughs> you a good, you a good <laughs> person, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. What 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 intrigued you as far as like Nas and his sound and stuff like that? Uh, even though he gets his flowers, I still think he's a little bit. I don't think he gets the same respect. I think he should be up there mm-hmm. in the conversation with Jay more often. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I just think he's underrated, and I think like uh, his catalog is like uncompromising. You For know sure. what I mean? For sure. I think he's so. a better rapper than Jay Z. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I agree I think if you're not going off of like off how of it makes everything. you everything yeah it, it, like, Jay-Z's like, better at braggadociousness yeah. and then it's like um, I think what people like about him is that what he's saying is not better than what Nas is it's just that he did it mm-hmm. you know so it's more fascinating once you break down everything and take away everything and just put it on bars that's why I say Nas Mm. I see you. You don't. You don't agree with that. No, I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Yeah. No, that's gonna break some shit down for you. You feel yeah. me? But Jay gonna give you that. Jay gonna break it down, but he gonna do it in a commercial way. Yeah. So you understand it better, type shit. You know. It's crazy. It may sound. Jay Z is not in my top five. <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna say the same, Loki. Yeah. I'm gonna say the same. Yeah. I'm gonna say the same. I probably won't. <laughs> yeah, cause my personal top five, man. Just I mean, we ain't gotta go there, but it's just like mine's is, is Pac, Nas, my, uh, Wayne, DMX, and Snoop. Mm. See, mine's I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Pac. I'm gonna go with Be Legit. I'm gonna okay. go with Pimp C. Oh, see, you, you a fan I'm right? Go, you feel me? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Goddamn, hold on. I'm gonna go Master P. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go. Ah, then I'm gonna get the last one to spit up. Let me get a spit up. Okay, okay. Hell yeah. Yes. All right, we might as well go ahead, man. What's your top five? Might as well go ahead and get it wrong. Oh, man. I don't know if I could do it, but. <laughs> uh, no, I know I would have Nas and Jay there. Yeah. And then uh, after that, it gets tricky. After yeah, that, I would sure. just have a long list of yeah, interchangeables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big and Jay is my six and seven, man. Just like when I do top five, I don't do top five with what you're supposed to. Like, it's just how you feel for me. Right. Like, I feel like Snoop Dogg is like the biggest artist in the world. Like, Everybody from babies to old grandmas know who Snoop Dogg is. I agree. No matter what race, no matter how you are, you know who Snoop is. You might not know his music, but you know him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, man, it's 2022, man. It's about to be over, man. Shit, tomorrow, October, dog. Damn. Damn that shit, <laughs> that shit, it's like Damn. COVID put everything in fast forward mode, man. Facts. Damn. So, uh, what? How, how y'all year been, man? Like, ups, downs? Like, what's been going on this year, man? How you feel yeah, like? Yeah, I've been battling with life like a motherfucker. I'm sure yeah. everybody's been battling with life at this point, but mm-hmm. shit, nigga. 
it's been up and down. It's been a roller coaster, but shit, I I didn't won every battle, so yeah. I ain't I ain't tripping too much on that shit. So twenty two been good. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, what's one down on it? What's one of them things you got through, bro? That at the time, like that shit was slow motion. Like it wasn't it wasn't moving quick enough, or you wasn't getting through it quick enough. If you can speak on I it. mean, it's always some shit with this music shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit always up and down. Mm -hmm. The numbers is up and down. One minute you. You know what I'm saying? You 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 doing your thing, the next minute motherfuckers ain't searching for you. So it's yeah, like for sure. you gotta be consistent, you gotta keep dropping shit, but when life hits you, you can't really make the music and shit like you're doing if you're yeah. going through some stressful shit. Yeah. Cause you know everybody ain't trying to listen to no stressful shit. I ain't trying to hear no stressful <laughs> shit. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Oh, I lost my car. Oh, you know for what sure. Yeah, 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 but lost my job. Nah, like. yeah, I ain't about to get into that shit with you. I don't want to hear that shit. Now, when you say that, John, like, as far as, like, the searching, you think social media play a big role as far as, like, being forgotten about because there's so many people you can search so much you can look for on social on, on Instagram, on Facebook, that you can get lost in a shuffle if you're not consistently putting something out every single fucking Friday. I'm going to say yeah, but I'm also say no. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, shit, if you got a strong-ass fan base and you got somebody who actually really fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. you, you hard to forget. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You I'm make fast. yourself personable and shit, and you tell your life stories and shit, and they can relate to you. Shit, that's like you say, Q over here just say, you fuck with, be legit and them mm -hmm. niggas. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't fuck with be legit. So, mm -hmm. shit. Nah, he fuck with me. He might go home and be a fucking yeah. fan of my shit <laughs> now. So, yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's just like, you just got to build that type of shit, bro. So, man, how, how do you build that fan base, though, like, with this podcast? Sometimes that junk can be slow. Like, mm -hmm. the slow grind be the best grind for me, though. But how do you build that fan base up to always search for you, to still listen to your old stuff and, you know what I'm saying, and stay up on uh, Mosquito Jones. Consistency, bro. Yeah. Keep going. Like you just said, this what this episode, th 135? Yeah. Shit, nigga, by the time you get to 137, that could be your yeah, the one. Your yeah, one. For sure. Say, today could be the one. Shit. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, you just got to keep going with this shit. You never know what, like for me, you never know what record could be that record. Mm -hmm. You feel know I me? Mean? Like some shit maybe with Cash that we recorded last year that yeah. we never released or for some sure. shit with Miles. That we did last night. What are we about to do today? Who knows? But see, the thing with me that fucks me up, dog, that's with life on It's patience, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, patience is hard, man. Like, yeah. having it is hard because you want that shit right now. Yeah. You want you the gotta, money right now. You want your turn. Man, yeah, dog. You want your turn. Everything happened for a reason, bro. You just got to fall back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this shit sure. already written for you. <laughs> yeah. You just got to relax. Gotta, enjoy the ride. For sure. For sure. Play a movie and shit, man. Play yeah, that shit out. Yeah. It, it's gonna be an ending, but you want you know what I'm saying? Hey, feel Unfortunately, me? it's gonna be an ending, man. Just be ready. Yeah, for sure. Hopefully you go out in a good way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody remember you some type of way. Facts. Feel me? That's why I do this podcast. My kids can come back and watch me like damn. Damn, something crazy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was living his life. Man, shit. what about you, Miles, man? How your how this year been for you, man? How it's been treating you? Uh it's been good. Um, mm -hmm. but like with what you're saying, I think um the patience and stuff, uh I don't know, man. I think it all, like, is part... It adds to the story. You know what I mean? No, it does. It makes it... it you, I feel like uh, with a lot of things, even, like, with smaller things um, in your life, you notice that uh, whenever you accomplish something, what was, like, the actual story is mm -hmm. all before it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, the actual accomplishment is never the thing that you actually end up, like, bragging about. For you sure. Know? For sure. Yeah, you do. It's always, like, what the, the journey was, you know? Yeah. It's, like, one of those things where you take... Uh, if you go like on a roller coaster and it's not that memorable, yeah. like you don't re remember one roller coaster ride from another. For sure. If for you sure. rode it more than once, right? But it's like um, those kind of like nightmare trips or yeah. occasions where it was like something super difficult yeah. at the time, yeah. and then it's like the story yeah. now is you laugh about it for sure. later. You know, for sure. like they almost got Keisha pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just like the ones. No, I'm the ones. Yeah, but so how do you deal with like? It's going to be for both of y'all. How do y'all deal with patience? Like, I know, you like, throughout y'all, you know what I'm saying, careers and stuff like that, sometimes you lost patience. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you were frustrated because, hey, this this person might have, damn, how is this person blowing up and I'm not? Like, how did y'all deal with that early on? Like, just, because, of course, when you do something, you expect instant fame. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, those early years, like, how did y'all get through those type of, you know what I'm saying, situations and struggles? Shit, you just grow. You know what I'm saying? You realize that shit, like, Sometimes, sometimes everything don't happen when you want it to happen because it ain't going it may not pan out the way you want it to happen. Mm -hmm. You feel me? We can get a million dollars today if you never had a hundred thousand dollars cash <laughs> yeah. and you don't know what to do with that. Yeah, you for sure. Gonna fuck <laughs> you gonna fuck the bag up? Dollars, yeah, you, know you are. So it's like if you a little mature and you wait your turn and you get there, you can make that million turn into ten million. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's just about trial and error, bro. A lot of error shit I learned from. Man, see, too many errors, man. man. What about Miles, like. 
how you, how you deal with those, you know what I'm saying, those early grinds and struggles and and not just getting the, the things that you want right away. I mean, at this point, I almost don't mind. I feel like the requirement of the patience makes sure you don't do it for the wrong reason. You know what That's I mean? Fair, yeah, like, you sure. want it for a certain, all those, like, more, like, superficial reasons you want something to happen start, like, falling off mm. because of how long it takes. And then you just realize, like, with music and stuff, you just realize, like, oh, I'm just making stuff I like mm -hmm. at this point. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, and then you, it just becomes about that. And then that's when it, I think it actually gets more successful, too. Yeah. And, right. and when you say that, I, I, I take it to, like, when an artist, uh, you could tell when an artist making music for himself and then when he's trying to chase a hit and making music for everybody else. Facts. That shit don't sound the same. No. Like, <laughs> no. You know what I'm saying? Because you're chasing a hit. You're chasing a radio hit. You're chasing fame. You're chasing, mm. you know what I'm saying? But you ain't just making music that, that you like and you enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Even if nobody checked for you, there's something that you put out that you can go back on and be proud of and opposed to some bullshit that you... Sold yourself out for Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And there's a lot of artists that we know I ain't gonna name, but it's like artists, you be like, damn, I miss the old you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like what happened? Or you man? was trying to trace a bag on this shit. Like, yeah, man. And, niggas, and, and, niggas' heart don't be in it no more with this shit. Yeah, man. that's, that's and, and it's not even with just music, man. When you watch podcasts, you be like, damn, them early episodes was great. Mm -hmm. So he got that sponsorship deal. It's over. Like, it's what over. the fuck happened to you? <laughs> like, like, shout you, out to uh, Amsterdam. We yeah, got goddamn sure. drinks coming. Tonight, yeah. <laughs> and as movie directors, you'd be like, damn, they fell off, like, just because they chasing that, that hit. It's almost like when you're on drugs, man, you're chasing that first high. Mm -hmm. No matter if it's a drink of liquor, if it's weed, if it's whatever. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. But what's something that you feel like that you can say is holding you back to this day from maybe going above where you are now? Shit. People not being open enough. You mm -hmm. feel me? I feel like... Because I'm from Detroit and shit like that. A lot of a lot of time, my music sound like some Cali shit, or it may sound like. Well, I hear you. I, I hear Larry honestly. June, like little yeah, Larry, I, I little get Dom. that shit a lot now. Like I hear all the Larry Junes and the Doms and shit like that. I, I get that a lot, but mm -hmm. it's like those people are already established, like a little small little community of the shit. So and it's like a, it's enough room for mm -hmm. the community for mm -hmm. a nigga like me. So. Yeah. Like, just be open and, like, you know what I'm saying? Open your ears to a new artist. You never know. You might fuck with my shit. Mm -hmm. My story might relate to yours and shit. You might, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, for sure. Be open. Niggas be closed-minded, bro. Yeah, so you you think that's, like, something you had to, you know what I'm saying, that was holding you back early on, just not be yeah. open to situations and yeah, things? Yeah. And it's, still, it's still holding me down a little bit. Yeah. It's still holding me down because you got the niggas who do the comparison shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anytime somebody compare you to somebody, that's why... I, I don't get mad, but I feel some type of way when niggas do that shit. Yeah. Like, Damn, man, you remind me of ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. And it's like, come on, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nigga, why yeah. I just can't be Jones, bro? Yeah. Why I just can't be Moschino Jones? But bro? sometimes it be kind of good, like, because, of course, we all are inspired by somebody. Take somebody a little bit, each person, without even knowing it. Just because sure. that's like when you're hooping. I, I know you're a hooper, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, yeah, I did a little research. But, um, <laughs> my nigga. Yeah. I, was, I was all American, you feel me? Yeah, 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 boy. <laughs> <laughs> Throw that in there real quick. But when you're a hooper, you you if you watch it some somebody, it's just so much like you take a little piece of the game and not even you know what I'm saying, not even know it. Mm -hmm. It just come with it and stuff like that. Yeah. What, what about you, Miles? What's something that's holding you back to this day that you feel like you still learning how to adjust to or you know what I'm saying, get right? Uh I think my biggest vice and things is that I I enjoy the hard way. So mm -hmm. like when we have that patience conversation, that the patience thing isn't that bad for me just because like I kinda I kind of get too into the enjoyment of that, mm -hmm. of like, uh, it's almost like too much of an I'll show you thing, you mm -hmm. know, where it's like, sometimes I almost want to do things the harder way, yeah, yeah, where yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, why? Yeah, you but know? no, no. So, Don't be so stubborn type of thing. So but. so with you, if, if it's like handed to you right away, you kind of like, damn, like, I don't even like this, like, let me work for it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I just like being the underdog, yeah. like, or I like doing something that, uh, you know, I mean, even like production wise with like more old school sound it's like people want mm -hmm. which i i mean we make music we made we've made stuff that's like detroit style we've made stuff that has a bunch of 808 and bass and all that type of stuff but then i'll also like go off and just try to do a whole project of yeah. like old school stuff just because i know that some yeah. people are just gonna be like yeah you know do we do it do, not do, open to do, it do you do it purposely like to be like to separate yourself so nobody won't put you in that detroit sound box yeah, I think it goes back to like an I'll show you thing where it's yeah. like I'll I'm I'm gonna try to be 
you in your lane, and, you in your yeah. lane, you in your lane. And these people are like specialized, right? Sure. They only mm-hmm. do that lane. So it's like, I'm going to try to visit your lane and beat you. Yeah. And, and then do it. Out, to yeah. For sure. yeah. <laughs> no, fast, fast. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. Now, like st- staying on, on the year and stuff, like when you go to a new year, do you think about goals? Do you think about people you need to get rid of? Do you reflect or do you just go with the flow and things going to come as it, as the year progress? Hell yeah. You got to. Yeah. Every, every year is a new, new friends, new, new family. Sometimes shit. It's mm-hmm. like you gotta and new obstacles. You gotta fucking write that shit down, bro. I got, yeah. a, I got a, uh, I got a board that I put all my shit on mm-hmm. or whatever. I check off. You feel For me? Sure. Throughout the year, yeah. like I do all that shit, bro. I'm, I'm big on all that manifesting and like. Mm-hmm. Writing down goals and all yeah. that. So I've been on that type of way. Do you go back, back? Like, damn, I ain't do none of this shit. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. If I do, that shit stress me out, bro. Yeah, because everybody, you know, it's like when you go to the gym. Everybody in that motherfucker for January. Mm, for sure. February, that motherfucker tapered. <laughs> Niggas is out of there. Niggas, gym Pat, you probably make a White Castle for you. Like, <laughs> the Coney Islands. For shit. real. You was never like hard from January 1st nah. to the 31st. Nah, it's rare. February come. You said bring Black History Month. You in? You in? You said fuck, it's fuck over. the gym, man. It's over, man. You was starting off drinking smoothies, yeah, all for that sure. Shit. Eating grass, man. Like, cause my wife said something, cause she worked at a gym for a hot second, but mm. she was like, if you notice, the gym is always packed on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm. As soon as that end of that week come, the cars is very few inside the parking lot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, cause just go hard throughout the front of the week, and then yeah. as soon as that weekend come and them drinks start hitting you, yeah, you ain't waking up to hit the gym and all that <laughs> shit. It's over. But is it hard to stay consistent at what you do, man? Especially like a lot of people do music, a lot of people do podcasts, a lot of people do production. Mm. Like, is it hard to to stay consistent? I'm gonna say yeah because of life, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like mm. you. I, I I moved, you mm. feel me, to a whole different state. You mm. feel me? I got family that need help. I got this shit. I need help my damn self. So it's like I can't always just tap in into the music and like just come up with something if I'm going through some bullshit. It's like mm-hmm. I don't know, bro. So yeah, it's 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 hard to say. No, gonna... for sure. Now, do you regret somebody you might have said, "Hey, I can't take you into this new year. I'm I'm done with you." No, nah, bro. I ain't got no regrets. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I ain't got no regrets, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. But it ain't like, uh, I don't, I mean, that's some girly shit to really be like, oh, I ain't fucking with them. Yeah, for sure. Oh, but, you know what I'm saying? It's still cordial. What yeah. my dog? Like, but it ain't like niggas yeah. hanging out or I'm on the couch yeah. sleeping. You know for what sure. I'm saying? Like, for sure. You know, like, Cause when it comes to business, when it comes to life, when it comes to stuff, like, at the wild, those friends that you grew up with when you was fucking around trying to have a good time, go to the club and mess with chicks. Fresh. But then when you try to turn that around, you're like, all right, I got to get to this money. I got to get to this business. I got to get to some other things. And they still on that same shit they was on 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you got to not necessarily cut ties, but know like, all right, we can't really hang around each other too much because you're going you know to you fuck shit up. Facts. So, so what's the best advice or worst advice y'all have received in this business, man? Hmm. Best advice? No, I'm going to start with the worst advice. Worst advice I ever got and heard, whatever, was money don't make the world go wrong. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Nigga, what? That's yeah. the fuck you do. Yeah, for sure. You for sure. broke as hell, and you can't do shit, nigga. I'm not, I'm not about to be homeless, nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, money do make the world go wrong, nigga. Mm-hmm. Everybody wake up every day to chase a bag. Uh-huh. Now, I would say money won't don't make you happy, because sometimes it bring, no, that sure. can bring misery sometimes, but money do make the world go wrong, because you got, you know what I'm saying? You need that shit to keep things moving, That's shit. Right. What, about, what about the best advice you you, you receive? Man. Best advice, always have patience, bro. Mm-hmm. Be patient, bro. Wait your turn. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't rush the process. Yeah, for sure. I got to take that advice, man. Yeah. <laughs> Slow it for down. Sure. Just keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? You might not be making no cheese. Shit. I'm damn near still not making cheese from this shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I'm yeah. getting a little, a little bag, but yeah. it ain't like paying all my bills. That's yeah, how I want sure. it to do. No, nah, fast. So it's like I'm still going to keep on trying to make this shit until it do. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Miles? Give me some good advice and some worst advice you didn't receive. I think it might not necessarily be like advice that somebody's given me, but something I realized that I think helps just across the board with a lot of things was uh, like momentum. Uh, people are a lot of uh, times they're uh, goal-oriented. Like I want to be you hear people say like i want to be a millionaire by this age or i Mm -hmm. want to do this thing by this time Mm -hmm. and i think instead of being like um having that defined goal being like trajectory based Mm -hmm. instead of actually like goal based like i'm not you hear a lot of people uh, being uh trying to say that that's like you know set out uh it's kind of like even um 
what are they vision boards so mm-hmm. those are like defined goals but i just like trajectory where mm-hmm. you just go like do more today than you did yesterday or fix the things that you did wrong yesterday it's yeah. like a day by day thing and it's and then it's a momentum thing yeah, you know yeah, what i mean yeah. no fast. so it's like whether it's money or fitness or whatever it's just like Try to, like, end the day where you like, I couldn't have done more. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. do it again. And then it's just a repetition yeah. thing. No, for sure. No, that's, that's, that's the fa- whitest answer. <laughs> <laughs> I love my dog. <laughs> I think that's why I got him. He's going to get me in them rooms. No, but, but I get it. I was like, when you, when you when, like, go back to the gym. When, go, <laughs> that's my nigga, bro. When you go back to the gym and stuff, dog, with that, that first that first day, that first week, you might go in real mile. Mm-hmm. Like, All right, we push myself. We're a mile and a half. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I get what you're saying. <laughs> you funny as hell. I love this. Hey man, I, I've been asking everybody this question, man. Some people too thug to answer it, man. Some people not. Oh shit. When last time y'all cried, man? What and, and what was the reason? Shit, I cried fucking last week. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Fucking yeah. drunk driver smacked my fucking wide body challenger. Shit. Mm. Crying like a motherfucker. Damn, man. That shit only had fucking about what. 12,000 miles on it, nigga. Like, damn, shit, new as hell. Hell yeah, I was babysitting that motherfucker, bro. Man, Red damn. Seas, all that shit. I custom built it myself, bro. No cap. Damn. That was my baby. Man, damn. Nigga took my shit. My shit. It's total? Hell yeah. Damn. Fuck, though. He, he yeah. had insurance? Yeah, Not you, for him. sure, for sure. For okay. sure, for sure. Yeah, because I, I ain't got situations, though. I had no insurance. Like, damn, what the fuck I'm going to do? Man. <laughs> Fake insurance ass. You know how back in, what, 08, everybody was getting the bootleg insurance to get the plates and shit. It'd be like that. Yeah, man. It'd good, be like that. Good times, man. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about it's you, a... man? When the last time you got a good cry at, Miles, man? I might be too much of a thug. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to get your cry moment? Wait. No, I think, I think the last time. I think, uh, I think it was, like, somebody else going through, like, a loss and then the way they were handling it yeah, yeah, yeah. was like generating tears. It, yeah, it wasn't yeah, yeah. like a balling situation, but yeah, yeah. sometimes I think that's harder than um, when you're going through a loss. Like seeing yeah. other people, that's why I don't like like certain funeral ceremonies. Hearing people get up and Stories, talk and then them yeah. getting shaky and stuff, that's yeah. uh, just fucked up. But I feel like I'm so immune when it comes to like death man. at this point, bro. Like Duh. I done lost so many people, man, bro. For, man, I know I lost both parents. Um, grandmas, granddads, like sometimes when you hear somebody pass away, you kind of like you feel bad for them, but yeah. it's like I'm used to it. That's what I'm saying. Like so, it's like when I when I meet some people and shit like that, and they ain't never really experienced death and shit, and they come to me for advice or whatever, it'd be like hard for me to really mm-hmm. give you some advice because I'm like cold hearted when it comes to that shit. Yeah, and I don't even, I don't even know how to react. Like somebody cry, like uh... yeah, uh, hold <laughs> like, I don't even know how to hug. Like, I don't know. Yeah, uh, but the, be all right. is that is, is that a bad thing though? Coming from the inner city, bro, not knowing how to really express yourself. For sure. Especially like when you got kids. Like now, I gotta express myself a little bit more mm-hmm. having kids and stuff like that. Cause you don't want them to kind of like growing up being that same type of way. Like you yeah, know, it's trauma, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's we trauma, just talking about trauma bro. and shit. Like, you just need therapy, bro. Like, yeah. Everybody needs to go talk to somebody. Whether mm-hmm. you talking to your wife, your husband, your, your friend, your mom, mm-hmm. y'all niggas need to sit down and talk, bro. Mm-hmm. Cause a lot of people ain't healed from a lot of situations, yeah. and they don't even know how to pass it on to their kids For or sure. their brother who actually needs the shit, who might take himself out the game because. Yeah. He ain't getting no good advice from this motherfucker. Yeah, so, yeah, shit. yeah. That mental we, health shit deep. No, for sure. We were just talking about that, man. Uh, producer Q was telling uh, a little kid to get the hell out of the way and shit. But, <laughs> <laughs> but no, like that, no, it was just the story. Sometimes you got to do that. The story was, it was story was because we say, he, you know, we all brought up on old school principles where you don't butt in the grown folks conversations. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Until, you know what I'm saying, you get to a certain age and stuff, man. Some things ain't, ain't meant for you to be, you know what I'm saying, around me talking like this. You Bikes, know what I'm saying? So. Bikes. Now, I want to know about y'all growing up, man. I want to know who was in the household, like how it was, what what part of Detroit, wherever you was from, like, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk man, about that a little that's bit. That's a long story, bro. Yeah. But shit, I grew up on the west side, west side of Detroit, mm-hmm. you feel me? Grew up on Seven Mile, Seven mm-hmm. Mile Fielding. Okay. You know I, what I'm saying? Oh, Bob's Pizza, shout out. That's a big <laughs> fact. My nigga. I love my nigga. No. That's, <laughs> that's the spot to this day. For sure, man. To this day. I'm from the east side, but I moved over there, and everybody said, go Bob's. Bob's is the one. Mm-hmm. Bob's is the one. But uh, yeah, man, I grew up with my, my both my parents, low key, mm-hmm. but my pops was locked up and shit for the first like six years. Like, as soon as I was born, the feds kicked down the door and took my dog. Okay. So shit, I ain't really meet him outside the jungle until I was six. Mm-hmm. So shit, mom's held the fort down down there. He got out. They kind of split. Mm-hmm. He moved to Eight Mile and shit. So. Mm-hmm. Cherry Line, Kentucky over there on 8 Mile. That's yep, my yep. hood, too. So, shit. Um, so, shout out to my sconies. And, um, 
Yeah, bro, from there, nigga just, just Pops was a hustler, shit, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody else around this motherfucker, so For sure Niggas had the fly his cars, the Corvettes and mm-hmm. all that shit The fly yeah. his clothes, icebergs, sweaters Iceberg, and this, damn, this throwback, man Bowls, nigga Man, like, good balls, man You feel me, so Niggas grew up on that type of way. Cash money had me hooked on on, on yeah. tees and bowls, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was 140 pounds wearing two XT with 38 man, pants, man. Like me, I had to make the extra hole in the belt loop. No, I, was just... <laughs> like, I had a motherfucking, I had a bad boy run where I was with the shiny Sean John oh, fits, man. nigga, with the Jordans and shit. Dog, the Valoras and John Dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but see, the thing I had about that, I don't understand how we was wearing those pants because it was going up under our shoe. Facts. Like, yo, under your shoe was dirty as hell because I was never washing care. my jeans because I didn't want that mother fade. Niggas didn't care. <laughs> it was worth it at that time. Bro, goddamn, that shit, man, Iceberg was too, that was too much for me, man. We was kind of poor a little bit, so man. I was like, kind of like robbing my stepbrother for his little clothes and It'd shit. Be like man. that. I was, I was hitting my older brother up for yeah. some shit. Nautica too. jackets and stuff, Everything. man. Man. Everything come up missing And I, and I was always one of them kids That like Fucking leave shit mm-hmm. I take his hat or shirt Go hoop I'm leaving that shit in the gym Come, come back the next day It's just stole Hell yeah. I'm lying to the nigga and shit <laughs> probably gonna try to fight me After you hear this shit yeah. Yeah, Hoop trust under the pants Facts. Always ready to go Facts Man dog Facts. Now uh, did you have like Siblings in the crib Yeah I got a younger sister mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying She got a clothing line Called Detour 11 Detour Go check that out Okay for sure And then I got an older brother too So you know what I'm saying That's mm-hmm. like my mentor And my OG so yeah, do you feel like like you know say you say your pops was gone six years, he come home, your mom and pop split up. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you had to be like this you and your brother had to be like super protective over your moms? Hell yeah. Cause Hell you know, yeah, cause but my mom's super man, she's super like strong when it comes to like meeting dudes and shit like that. Yeah. She really kinda closed off ever since my pops, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it's like we ain't never really worried too much about her. Yeah. We knew if you had a nice little bag, she might give you a time of day. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you might see this nigga for a couple weeks around the crib. Yeah. Then sure. as soon as that nigga slip up and say, I ain't got it, yeah. he out of there. How would y'all towards, towards like, people she might be dating? Like, would y'all those niggas like, man, hey, who the fuck is you? Or y'all ain't give a fuck like now, that? My brother was. Because yeah. he was the, the, <laughs> the street motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I kind of grew up, like, my pops and them niggas kind of kept me like, in the books and shit in For school, sure. so I really wasn't on that tough nigga shit like that. But yeah. when uh, niggas came around, niggas, niggas did, you know what I'm saying? They grim them a couple times. But yeah, for sure. Like, I want some cool shit because I was trying to get the cheese out the niggas too. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I was a hustler, nigga. So For sure. I oh, need some J's. What's up? Nigga, Are you around? Up? You want to spend some quiet time with mom? Let me get some. <laughs> I, took, I took advantage of them niggas, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's funny, man. Now, now, Miles, where you from, man? What what area? Where you, where you, where you, where you uh, grew up at or reside? Uh, I'm in Southfield now. Uh, I kind of just moved around um, a little bit. I went to a couple different elementary schools and middle schools, but um, I think I was in uh, Sylvan Lake, Madison Heights, uh, the Troy, Birmingham area, Mm -hmm. then Southfield. So just all kind of around. But who's in the crib? What was that crib life like, man? Um, uh, I grew up mostly with my dad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then I had an older sister, and then uh, I have. Um, some of his family down in Florida. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Was he hard, hard, hard life? Easy? Just you, you. If it was hard, you ain't know shit about it. You ain't give a damn. Yeah, I would say like, yeah, I would say that. I mean, even now, I just kind of like, I'm more of like a what now person. Uh, person, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. All right, what like, what's next? Yeah, you yeah, know what for I mean? Sure. Yeah, I can what's see like you, you were in the moment, person. Like, yeah, I don't. Um, I don't know. So if something goes wrong, I'm not like I don't I don't dwell on it from that yeah. long before I'm like. Yeah, I need I need to be able to call you, dog. I be dwelling too much. <laughs> like, uh, goddamn. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I've just gotten more and more indifferent over time towards yeah. that type of stuff. Where it's like, for, all right. for sure. Now I want to know. A lot of times we got musical influences from what we hear at the crib. Like we don't get our own ear for music that we get older. Mm-hmm. So who was those people that y'all was listening to just based off of parents or? Or siblings, or just people around the neighborhood. Like, who was those favorite artists? Just cause of them, before you had your own ear for that. Mm, shit, my older brother, bro. He used to have me listening to everything. Like I say, be legit, my favorite. So shit, mm-hmm. I was listening to the Click. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like shit, like that. I was listening to E40 and all them boys. Uh, Pimp C, UGK. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Shout out to Bun B. Uh, everybody underground. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We took that underground route as yeah. a kid. So. 
and all the niggas we fucked with. We ain't really get into like the Jay Z's and all the commercial shit like that. Too really, on. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? Now I appreciate it now, but back then I was like, I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want to hear Fetty. You feel me? I don't want to hear Getty Green, Project Pet. You feel oh, me? niggas be sleeping on Project yeah. Pet. That Getty, yeah, my nigga Pet Dog. Flowers. Pet Shout out to my brother nigga. True, man. Uh -huh. He put me up on Three Six Mafia when it was the real Three Six Mafia before they got on on that uh uh what's that heart. Hustle and flow. flow. Before when man, when it was a million of them motherfuckers against the against the boo, a little chat, a yep. uh, uh, crunchy black, I need, I need Laura a infamous from little chat. I gotta get a feature from little chat. Oh, that gay green dog was a classic, yeah. bro. And I remember yeah. um when I was at Gross Point North, man. I went my first two years. I went there, man. They kicked me out because they found out I moved back to the city. I was messing with this one chick, man. And um every time I walk around the hallways where my brother be like, don't save her. Like, the, yeah, like, why are you saying that? Like, then I realized, like, yeah, she was a little, you know, a little young, mm -hmm. thought to making and stuff, mm -hmm. man. <laughs> mm -hmm. But no, that was like before. I remember they had that uh, that uh, song they did with Cash Money. What was that song? Uh, uh, damn, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, all was on there. Yeah, play why you hating, wasn't it? No, uh, I don't think it was that they, one. No, it wasn't. But that was, that was a collab they did together on that one. Uh, it was something they they was it was a long ass song and it was all on that mud. Uh, Damn. Damn. I wish I could remember. Because yeah. I can hear it, but I can't. I don't know the name of that mafia. Shout out to Three Six Mafia, yeah, man. Facts, big facts. Man. And the Hot Boys. Hell yeah, for sure. What about you, Miles? Who would you growing up, you know what I'm saying, listening to music wise? Uh, when I was younger, uh, and I used to visit my uh, grandma's house, they had like a bunch of old cassettes, mm -hmm. and they had the little like receiver cassette yeah, player yeah, thing. Goddamn, dude, throw so back. I used to just like spend all day just like taking stuff i don't even know you yeah, know and putting listening. it in and yeah. a lot of that was like more like oldies probably like 50s 60s music and yeah. then um uh, uh there was a little bit of a variety in there and then when i got into rap though like when i got a little bit older than that um i was mostly like it's kind of funny because it's like the almost the opposite of what you said because <laughs> i was like uh real into like the east coast stuff yeah. a lot of underground stuff too but it was like primarily east coast because mm. i was gotten kind of that when it came to like the east versus the south yeah i was i was like yeah. i was kind of there where yeah. i was like ah, i don't you know i'm not into the southern rap because i got into wu-tang a yeah. lot um like i think rizza the yeah. sampling and stuff For like sure. i can see you like you saying you listen to 60 70s and then that within your production and stuff like that man Thanks. yeah and then now i mean now i listen to everything i like i like all different uh subgenres of rap yeah but for sure. yeah for a while i was really stubborn about that yeah see man, when i was young i didn't know shit about rap for real man because my dad wasn't my dad wasn't like he was an old school dude he wasn't listening to like rap music right it was all about the temptations uh, -huh. uh he'll be listening to sting uh rodney uh, rod stewart yeah uh paul mccartney the beatles he'd be listening to all type of shy day like yeah that's crazy you say that shit too because uh when i was growing up my uncle was Obi from mm -hmm. Four Tops, the original Four oh, Tops. Oh, for Oh, damn. Hell so yeah. I used to go on tour with them niggas all the fucking time. Yeah. Temptations and shit. So God damn. I'm surprised I ain't going that lane. <laughs> and fucking stepping and some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's Bro, still time. Wasn't could, ain't, the was, next DP, watch out. Dog, wasn't had the coldest voice, though. Eddie Kendricks, dog. Yeah. Like, man. <laughs> like, I didn't nigga do that shit. Dog, for sure. So I'm listening to Prince. Like, so, like. I can ask this question just coming off that. Mm -hmm. Who's your first favorite, like, like for real favorite rapper? When you, uh, is it, is it be legit? Cause like my first favorite rapper was fuck MC Hammer. MC. Yeah, like that's. I'm say Rakim. Rakim. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say Rakim. I'm mad I didn't put him in my top five because he up there too. Yeah, cause he kind he like we always say he changed the structure of rap like from when it was like hit the hop hit yeah. and he Big had Daddy structure Kane sixteen bars. Shit. Yeah. This was hard. Who's your first favorite rapper, Miles? The first it, one. It's funny too. Uh, like Wu Tang was probably my first big phase. So somebody I probably here who don't say like Wu Tang too much, man. Huh? Somebody in here don't like Wu Tang too much. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't really listen to them that much anymore. But yeah. they were probably my first big phase. And uh, <laughs> like, honestly, the Jizza was the, my favorite at the time. But yeah. it's funny now because he's like one of the, you know. <laughs> now, now I put like almost all the rest of the Wu Tang above uh, him. Above him, yeah. But at that time, how many Wu Tang members is it really? A lot of motherfuckers don't. Yeah, like it depends on whether you do it, like the it, the side yeah, people, yeah. you know. Yeah, because you got them people who like wasn't really on the album cuts and stuff. Who was real? Who was part of Wu Tang? Yeah, probably about a good fifteen, probably. Yeah, probably. All together for real. So yeah. give me a, give me an album or a song that every time y'all hear it, it take y'all back to a time clear as day. It could be messed up time, good time, a chick. Got one. It don't take me to a messed up time though. It just yeah. take me to a good time when Whatever. I was when I was younger. But that's uh, real niggas 
from a uh, was that Nas and uh, Illmat? No, nah, not Illmatic. That's Nas and uh, damn, what was his squad? Oh, uh, uh, the um, QB, uh, yeah, thing. QB finest. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's called yeah. real niggas on there. That beat used to get me every time. It's hard. Yeah, what time? What what, what time did it take you to man? What was going on around that time in your life, man? That you could talk on camera about. Pop, pop was just in that bag yeah, man. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying That's when yeah. we was taking Those family trips And road trips And For sure. the whips was coming You feel me Like niggas was just, Niggas was eating yeah. You know what I'm saying yeah. So shit That's what that should Take me down to Man what about you Ma? You got that song Or that album That just take you back To a time clear as day That you could Like damn I remember what we was doing Ah oh, man I don't know That's a tough one I would say though uh, I'll change the question A little bit on you Which is Uh the one record that I feel like I can always listen to, though, and it always kind of puts me in the same state as every time I've ever listened to it, is uh, Get Down by Nas. Okay. Uh, yeah, not get, to the answer with another. Get, yeah, yeah for yeah. some reason, that song has never, to this day, I can play it, like, yeah. the whole car ride. Man, I remember, that Nas, that Godson album was slept on. I agree. Yeah. That Godson slept on, man. He talking about, uh... That, that's one song that gets to me. You talking about the crime bad, that, uh, that One More Dance, when my mom went to jump... Like yeah, he just uh, that that, that uh, he just needed that uh, that singing hook, man. Is man, horrible, that just gets me every time. Even before my mom had you know passed, I'm like, damn, this, this song gets to me for some reason. Yeah. Then afterwards, I'm like, oh, yeah, can y'all not play this in the car, man? Like, yeah. <laughs> fast forward this, gentleman, for real, for real. Um, now, before we get to the whole you know music stuff, I got one more thing I want to say. Mm. What's something that y'all wanted to be as a youngin that y'all never told nobody? Like that mm. it was like a phase or a hot moment. Like me, I want to be a tap dancer. Tap dancer. Yeah, I want to be a tap dancer. I want to play the piano. Damn. Those are my two things, dog. I Billy never Elliot. got around to. I look, you wanted to be a porn star. I don't care. <laughs> I ain't even care. They out. <laughs> Young dog. Hey, little freaky little nigga. They out. Dog, you remember your first porn you ever watched? Nah, we ain't gonna get there. We ain't gonna take it there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dog. We ain't gonna take it there. I got, yeah, I, I, my first porn nigga, I remember everybody had all white afros. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> Bushy ass pussies and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Afros, shit. afros everywhere, nigga. Oh, man. Afro nah. pussies here. Nah. Oh. I ain't never get jiggy with the, the <laughs> hairy shit. Right? Yeah, but that like, sounds like you found like an adult yeah, stash. Yeah, yeah right? it was. It was oh, like yeah, my dad jumped. I'm like, nah, dog. And then they had no drawers on, just taking the white pants off. Bam, right? Hey, we, we ready. Damn. Doom, doom. That old shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not they the get, doom, doom. They doom, get right doom, to it, dog. Doom, doom. doom. Man, uh, for real, for real. Yeah, so you say a porn star, man. Yeah. God damn. What, what's with your miles that you wanted to be that you never told nobody, man? I don't know if there is anything. I think I always was into, like, art. I started drawing, like, super yeah. young. So yeah. I think it's just changed, like, the medium. Yeah, and at yeah, this yeah. point, I don't care about the medium. Now it's just whatever yeah. created. Man, and that's, I'll be on my son about that because he, he hoop, but he got a talent for drawing. I'm like, bro, you need to okay. attack that. Keep doing that because you right. good. Because I, I used to pick the pencil up a little bit and draw, but I got whacked, like... He be yeah, Emma, like sketching right. I'm like, damn boy. They start with the kids, bro. My man, so back at home, uh, in the hey, bro. His son like real good with putting Legos and shit together, like mm -hmm. on some engineering type shit. I'm like, yeah. bro, put that man in some. And like, you don't know where that could take you to, man. For yeah, real. Yeah. I, I remember my pops put me in an engineering camp. We was building little cars and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, for sure. Was damn, this is a little spot we used to go to for field trips where we used to like fly, goddamn rockets and stuff, dog. It was kind. Of, it kind of seemed similar to what you were just saying, but yeah, you build it and then you take off, fly and stuff mm -hmm. like that. See which one, it was group had the best one or could fly the, you know, what I'm saying the farthest, the highest. Yeah, I wish I could remember the spot damn. I used to go to. Cause I remember taking damn lunch at school, and then my mom always played me, never give me a good lunch, but I always had that bologna sandwich. Bullshit, yeah. And then she never had. I ain't had no goddamn nothing to wrap it up with, so she wrap it up with the with the loaf of bread, damn. little uh, plastic part. There. Damn. <laughs> I had boule lunches, dog. Hey, she had no cool, no Kool Aid jammer, so she put that mother like a little water bottle and shit from the bike. You know how your bike come with a water bottle? Mama <laughs> made it work, nigga. Mama made it work. She put a whole thing of uh, 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 grape Kool Aid that boy, dog. Dang. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Just scammers. Yeah, good times, man. For sure. I love you, man. That was good shit, dog. <laughs> now, before we get to, <laughs> before we get to your music, bro, you said you was a hoop star, man. Yeah, I'm what, capped though. I wasn't that good, nigga. I was low key kind of trash. I ain't gonna cap. Man, I know I had that shit. Yeah, I what? still got that shit. So. <laughs> what, what, what was you hooping at, man? Like, what, what stopped those uh, those hoop drinks? Cause we, you know, we all have them. Some. Man, so shit, like life, bro. Man. I lost my pops and shit. I lost my mind. So shit, I mm -hmm. started getting into bullshit. I started stealing and robbing and doing all. You know what I'm saying? Selling shit like. I just lost my head, bro. I really wasn't in that shit no more. I really went into school, mm -hmm. fucking hooping. All that shit went out the window during yeah. that time. So Damn. that's the only thing that really fucked me up. I wish that shit never happened. I probably could have 
did some shit. I'd probably be a coach or some shit right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, what, what school were you at? Who, who at high school was? Um, started at Lathrop and then I went over to Berkeley High School. Okay. Yeah. What position you? You seem like a shooting guard. Shooting guard. Yeah, yeah you like a shooter and shit, yeah. man. One of the was a shooter. Yeah, yeah, Corner yeah. spot up. <laughs> <laughs> hated that. No, I hated that jump. What, what, what was there ever a game that you just like? Nigga was getting over on you. Like you thought you was the man. You ran to this one dude. He was just fucking you up. Cause I never forget mm -hmm. Dennis Foster. Mm. Never forget this nigga name, dog. Fuck me up at Basketball City. Mm. I mean, he could shoot, he could dribble, he was fast. And I'm like, damn, he fucking me up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I know. Nah, it was, a, it was a, cold, a cold nigga, bro. Pause. That nigga name was Mark Dell, bro. Yeah. Mark Dell. He went on to play in the NFL for the Broncos, but okay. he was a hooper, nigga. And uh, I remember we was at this Oakland University camp, nigga, and that nigga was just. Giving buckets, nigga. <laughs> Nobody was looking for other niggas. Like, niggas was all there for that nigga. Like, damn. <laughs> must be nice, nigga. Duh, it's hard when you just get work and you can't, you can't do shit about it, bro. That nigga was different, bro. He was Duh. a man child. Like, yeah, that nigga was bro. dunking that bitch and doing crazy shit. Man. Like, this nigga different. And now, the way you see these kids now, dog, me and my homeboy was talking like, if you was really putting the work in back then, like they do it now, everybody got trainers. Mm -hmm. They hoop it 24 7. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got so much stuff that can advance your, you know what I'm saying, your career and, and, and you your, the little your Mikey? Skill. Uh, Mikey Williams? Yeah. Yeah. That nigga dog. Yeah. And he making money already. Now you ain't in college. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Shit, Brian, both his sons. Yeah. They got pressure though when your name yeah. LeBron James Jr. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. sucks. Yeah, I can imagine that shit. I'm glad Kobe had no son. It would have been pressure on him. That's a fact. <laughs> it would be pressure. All right, now, people. GG probably would have had that pressure too, though. Yeah, yeah. But I think it would have been, been different. Yeah. But I think he would have been on her so tough that she would have been a beast. Facts. She would have been a beast, dog. He was already on her. She had to step back, spin move. Like, damn, little girl, 20 years old. Like, Facts. Working out, dog. Facts. Anyway, rest in peace, man. I found out she. They passed away on this show. I cried in, dog. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I you, cried. You dog. was doing the, uh, I was, I was filming type shit. Yo, we was done. Uh, like, I took, got the phone, opened up Instagram. Like, what, nigga? This gotta be a lie. Yeah. Then ESPN reported. I'm like, dog. I ain't believe it either. That's the first time my son saw me cry. I was mad at him, man. Bro, I <laughs> cried for that shit too, bro. Man, I grew up with that nigga, bro. That was my favorite player. Yeah. All the time. Still is. For sure. For sure. Still Fat. Is. Better than Jordan to me. I can argue with anybody about that. What, why would you say that? Like, because I, Kobe's my favorite player, but I think Mike the best. But Kobe's my favorite player. Because when you learn, when you learn from the sensei, you can't do nothing but be better than the sensei. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That nigga fucking learned everything from Jordan, and he fixed all his mistakes. Fast. You feel me? Jordan had mistakes. He had flaws, bro. Yeah, he did. And Kobe fucking. They so much alike though. It's like, oh. yeah, it's hard, but yeah, shit. yeah. That's why I. That's why I say. You know what I'm saying. So sure. I, I got the old like the sensei mentality. Yeah. You always want to be better than your pops, right? No, you for sure. You always want to be better than your older brother. Yeah, older yeah, yeah. Because yeah, my be, little so. brother came out and beat my ass. Like damn, yeah, I'm sure. mad as hell. Like motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> fuck that be you. Like he turned 15, got strong on my ass. It was like he got gay. He started posting me up. Like uh -huh. oh duh, I'm a little homie now. I quit. Like, it be like that. Man, I'm done. It be like that. Now as far as that, we can get to the music, man. As far as like y'all start with production, y'all start with rapping, man. Mm -hmm. Um, I know you took you took probably took rap serious like or want to be a rapper at a young age. Yeah. But did it become real serious when you was with the group TGL, True Great Lakers? <laughs> this nigga, all right. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah True like, Great Lakers, man. You know Shout what I'm saying? Manny and Gil, man. And don't talk about you had y'all had the one song niggas, man. Yeah. One song ain't no mountain heart. This nigga here, all right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That was hard too, dog. Fuck with it. But talk about talk about the group, man. Like. Was that like kind of like your introduction to rappers with the group or like before that? Uh, that was my introduction as far as actually recording that shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like I always played around on like little little recordings and shit with my family or whatever. But when it got to the point where we invested in the shit, like mm -hmm. actually bought a computer and mm -hmm. bought a microphone and all that shit. For sure. That's where that started at. So yeah, yeah. I definitely started during that time. And it was like, what? It was like four of y'all, right? Uh, three. three. Well, was, four. Y'all, Jay Trans, he was the producer, so yep. he, he count. Was y'all like on y'all like, all right, bet we see the Hot Boys, like you said, you 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 oh, yeah. Hot Boys coming up, oh yeah, Twisted Mafia, like back then, did y'all just think like, hey, soon we put this this tape out, dog, we get a deal? Hell yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> we was chasing the bag. We yeah. was all chasing that high. Yeah. Was, during that time, you had you had like Pack Div and mm -hmm. uh, remember that jump. I know Clear Soul Forces Forces doing their thing right now still too. Like they was they was coming up during the time we was too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. So like with with the group jump, man, when did like first like would y'all did y'all grow up together, like with y'all homies or whatever? Yeah, me and Gil grew up together since uh middle school and shit like that. And mm -hmm. then uh my man Manny came in kinda like on the late end. Mm -hmm. But we kinda just tapped right in and shit like that. So it was kinda easy to just 
Work with bro. Hey, that's when he was cute man with three with three man, ears, three ears, right? Yep. <laughs> cute <Q>, man. Yep. <laughs> trash. <laughs> yep. Trash. Nigga ain't had no no bars. Nigga. Where, where y'all come up with that true great Lakers man? Was y'all Laker fans like? Yeah, yep. Laker okay. fan. Like I said, I was a big Kobe fan, bro. Yeah. So shit, Lakers was all I knew. That was I, I was bleeding purple at that time in Detroit. So it was like, yeah. shit, great man. Lakers, true great Lakers. Why not? Yeah, who y'all looking up to as far as like Detroit rappers then? Because Detroit rap now compared to then is totally different. Yeah, like who? I, I was still, I was still on that Blade shit. Yeah, I was For still sure. on the Street Lords and Rock Bottom type shit. I was, man. I was heavy into that type of wave because yeah. my older brother. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah. I was giving it to them niggas, and then I started with Dope Boy Cash Out. Yeah, you know For what sure. I'm saying them boys started doing their thing. Yeah, yeah. I was a Dope Boy Cash Out hater just because I wanted to be a rapper, so I was hating. Mm -hmm. They were buzzing like they pull up to the school. Yeah, and shit, and the money, nigga. <laughs> Hell like, yeah, hey, fuck these niggas, nigga. Hell yeah, Pelly Pellies. Come come with my practice and <laughs> shit, nigga. For sure. Hey, buddy, <laughs> soon they saw come on, even though that's song boy our dog hoes yeah. to this day yeah to this day if it come on in the club dog Facts. you about to try to find a chick real quick That's dog you got the club and anthems dog her out. yep you got that that song that drop me give me 50 oh, bet yeah. that ass up and that jeezy song like those are the four songs that you know girls throwing ass to yeah. so you got her if you using bathroom hurry up and take that piece and get out of here Saturday. exactly dog what about you miles when the when the music gets to your life that you want to be a part of it man you listen to it you listen to Nas, but when you want to become a part of music man I actually wasn't thinking about it at all. And then um, I had a friend who was like, <clears throat> he had just gotten Fruity Loops or he was just about to. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was thinking about also buying some equipment, like a machine and stuff. And then he was like, uh, I think I'm going to start making beats. Like, yeah. do you want to make beats too? Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> at the time, I just, I was like fanatic listener though. Mm -hmm. um, like I would just scour go back through time like listen to everything hold mm -hmm. discographies sure. and then uh i was like yeah sure i'll like learn so then we would just like kind of figure stuff out and then um uh, i think eventually he stopped or he might do it you know a little mm -hmm. bit more infrequently and then um i just kept going like i i just really was like into it mm -hmm. um i don't know it, it just like I guess a little bit obsessive. I yeah. yeah, with like music, I can just get into it and then I could just do it. Um, so yeah. yeah. So I think, and then for a while, I think I was just doing it more like here and there for fun. Mm -hmm. Like, and then um, I think it really ramped up when we did this team uh, with him, me, and uh, Cash. Mm -hmm. And like when we started that team, then it started to uh, uh, ramp up big time. For sure. Do people do people that look at you like no you ain't made that beat <laughs> maybe but then again I I you know I'm a little bit like lone wolf with yeah, it and that's sure. what also helped with the team okay. is uh um up to that point like I was kind of like I stopped going to the shows and the showcases and all that stuff I used to mm -hmm. and then eventually I was just like yeah fuck it yeah, I'm yeah. just staying at home making the stuff and yeah. then uh doing that so I I'm not always in that room yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. where yeah but. Yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> people say that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What was that one beat that you, that, that first beat that you could remember that you like, oh, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm nice. Like, hmm. oh, uh, I would say there's like two main ones. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the first one was with, uh, the first one where it like actually, actually did like solid numbers mm -hmm. was probably at the same time that he was in True Great Lakers but okay. we didn't know each other yet yeah. um, I was working with a rapper whose name now is uh, Skinny with a V okay. uh, and then uh, a V instead of an I okay. uh, then uh, he made a song called Y'all Can't Rap mm -hmm. and I had uh, done this kind of like sampled record it was like a Marvin Gaye sample yeah, you did that Mm. Yeah, that was fine. And, and and at that time, at that time, that rapper he was like, uh, he was just about to start getting into that kind of like. Mm. There was a little bit of a uh, scene uh, yeah. of these people, um, and yeah, it actually did like solid numbers. So for yeah. his first record, it was like, it was pretty solid. So that one, and then um, when we started working together. We had met each other, and then we worked like very on and off through email and stuff. Mm. And then when we started this team stuff, the first record we made, which yeah. is uh, called Rude, yeah. uh, like the clothing, yeah, that one uh, also I feel like was one of those like kind of bookmarked moments. For sure, for sure. Mm. Now I got hit to both of y'all, man, through uh, Cash Made It. Mm. I was doing the podcast, and I just had rappers on. I was talking to my homeboy. I'm like, man, I need I need more producers on the show. So, and I just reached a little, you know, I, I got him, I think, through hashtags. Mm. He came on the show. Y'all had just dropped me out of place. 
Right. And um, he came out here like, yeah, you got to get Miles on here too, man. He a producer, man. So that's how I got in touch with both of you guys and shit through social media. Yeah. But like, how? first off, it's a two-part question. Like, how did you meet Cash Made It and how you meet Miles? And like, how important is it to have like producers that's on your team, you know what I'm saying, that you can go to and they both got two different sounds, but they both code at what they do as far as like bringing the best out of you? Um, but first off, bro, producers is everything, bro. Mm -hmm. Without the producer, you not really a rapper, bro. <laughs> yeah, for sure, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I get the producers the most praises. So even when I go out and I'm and I'm networking, when I'm meeting people, I usually just talk about miles and cash or mm -hmm. I because I produce too. So I just say I'm a producer mm -hmm. before I say I rap, bro, because mm -hmm. it's easier to get in rooms at the end of the day too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can sell a million beats, but everybody don't want to buy a verse from you. For sure, for sure, hell but, yeah, um, For the second part, I mean, I met cash. We was working. Mm -hmm. At Target, my nigga. <laughs> was young dogs. Oh, y'all go back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah we good Target there. Yeah, we was just in there chasing me out on some cool shit. Yeah, like, we yeah. really wasn't even tapped into music. I was rapping with TGL, but yeah. it really wasn't that, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, Bigger deal for me and him to have a conversations about music. And I don't even think he was producing that. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, we just tapped back in later in life and shit and got into the music shit at mm -hmm. the gym. And then with Miles, damn, bro, where do we, where do we fucking meet? I think I hit you up. Oh, it was a beat. Yeah, okay, I'll tell you that story. Uh, skinny or whatever. He had this beat, and he came over, and he wanted me to get on it. And it was uh, actually Miles' beat. And at that time, I was recording myself. And I was, like, on some bored shit one day, and I brought the, the same beat up or whatever and made a complete different song on this shit. Mm. And uh, my man's actually got mad at me. I ain't doing it on purpose, bro. I was just on some bored shit. But I ended up releasing that motherfucking song on some, like... And I wasn't even thinking. I didn't like do it personally. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck you, type yeah, 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 yeah. I just did it, bro. And uh, yeah. yeah, that's after that. I just was on Miles' ass about beast pause. Like, yeah. I need some beats. I need some beats. I need some beats. And that shit just started from there, bro. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, and Miles with him, like, what, like, what did you think of him as a rapper? When you, you know, what I'm saying. And then did you think like your sound could, you know, what I'm saying, can, can uh? Well, it was funny when I, when I first met him. Uh, it was that it was in between the Q man name yeah, and Q -man. Uh, <laughs> and then the name he's using now. So oh, then I would, <laughs> some people had fuck some, man. <laughs> what the fuck is that, bro? <laughs> Young nigga, man. That was the Reggie bag. Day. My bad. I didn't yeah, no. Nah, the the uh, at that time I had like heard people talk about a person named Q man that mm -hmm. I never met, and I heard people talk about this guy Jones that I never met. Mm -hmm. So then when I met him, I yeah. think I like, I thought we were about to go meet mm -hmm. uh, Jones. Okay. And then, oh, uh, okay. or, or like vice versa, but yeah. it's like, I thought we were going to go meet one guy and yeah. then, and then he introduced himself <laughs> with the other name. Yeah. And then, so then I, I think I mentioned something about Q-Man to him and then yeah. he's like, that's me. Yeah. And I was <laughs> like, uh, yeah. but no, I, I thought, um, I always thought he was good as a rapper. I didn't see like him. We, we like probably crossed paths and didn't know at mm -hmm. shows and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know that much going into it at first. But then um, when he used that one beat um, uh, as a feature yeah. and then the one he did on his own. Um, no, I liked it. I always liked the energy and like the, the range mm -hmm. and like the switch up of like cadences and flows and sure. stuff. I thought there was a lot of like dynamic qualities there so yeah yeah yeah, yeah for sure now yeah. do you and cash do y'all like collab on beats or like have y'all did there y'all doing that now or like are y'all y'all both y'all producers y'all both kind of got kind of a, you know different sound or whatever yeah we we have with uh we have with one for sure we've like swapped uh all like we, we've uh kind of swapped like drum packs or samples mm -hmm. like i'll get a drum pack from him he'll get a sample from me that type of thing for sure um yeah we could we could collaborate on more beats, is it cash whichever the camera is. Is, 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 it, is, it ever, if it's ever is it ever competition like, hey man, I bet y'all make a, a harder beat for Moschino than you can. <laughs> we don't have we don't have the verbal we don't have the verbal competition uh, like, but like we don't we don't like talk shit like that. Yeah, for sure, other, for sure, but, for sure. Um, like friendly also friendly shit. But a hundred at least for me, it's a hundred percent there. Yeah, 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 with yeah. everyone. Any so if he say it's up, <laughs> it's up, cash. Any, it's up. Anytime, even if it's somebody that's not like directly on the team, anytime he'll make a record with a producer and it and it turns out good. Yeah, it motivates you. Yeah. yeah. Then yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try to make something better than that. Like For I'm sure. gonna try to bury that record. But it's but, all, it has nothing negative towards the person or the record. It's more so like, 
Yeah. All right, you rose the tide. Now I'm gonna try to um, yeah, do yeah, it more. Yeah, yeah for know? sure, for sure. No, you always need that. Little, you know, it's always ain't no hating. It's always a little friendly competition. I love that. I think we both got. I think Cash and I we we started getting on a roll when we first started meeting up in person, and mm -hmm. we would just do sessions. Uh, all three of us like uh, pretty frequently. Mm -hmm. It'd be like one week he'd come. He played something that's crazy. It, yeah. it, he immediately wanted to rap on it. Then it yeah. was like, oh, all yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Really Next right. week, I need to come with something that makes him For do sure. that. Mm. For sure. And people don't understand. That make that make make everybody better, man. Yeah. Like, even the podcast, I always talk shit about being a podcast MVP, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can take it any way you want. I don't give a fuck, but right. you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> that's what it is. I study I study this shit. Like, once upon a time, I wanted to be a rapper. I wanted to rap on that, uh, that Vine sample, too, man. That was, oh, yeah. That was hard, no though. Pressure. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Now, with the Meow Plays, you know what I'm saying? Do you ever use, have you ever used your, your music to bag a chick? Uh, to bag? Or ever use somebody else's music to, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this gonna work. This motherfucker R. Kelly, even though that ain't a good one to use I ain't right gonna now. lie. No, I never have, bro. <laughs> yeah. I just always, like, been a goofy nigga. That always got me in the door. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. I ain't never had to play the music. Yeah. But as soon as they hear my shit, they be like, oh, shit, this shit too? Yeah, for sure. Let me give you some. <laughs> Give some of this pussy. Here, take this motherfucker. I done had that a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> man, fuck as hell, man. Now, uh, yeah. I, uh, studio, man. A lot of times, mm -hmm. your first time in studio, y'all both. I, I'm, I'm guessing y'all started young. Mm -hmm. So like the first time in the studio could always be different from when you like, you know, saying in the crib in the room. Facts. So how was that first time in the studio, and what's some stuff that y'all need to have a good studio session? Bro, I, I, I absolutely hate big studios. Yeah. Because of the fact that it's like. When you paying for something, it put too much pressure on you. Mm -hmm. For I'm going to speak for myself. It put too much pressure on me. Okay. So when I'm paying fucking $75 an hour and shit like that, mm -hmm. I feel like I have to fucking get records done. For I sure. got to do four or five records yeah. in this time. And can't and mess them, up. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then them four or five records be ass because you fucking just write yeah. some shits. And I, don't, I never really probably released any fucking studio records like yeah i think well, everything that's out there is stuff that we did at the crib mm -hmm. type yeah. shit, and just mixed and mastered our own selves mm -hmm. but uh yeah when i first started i was a little little timid in that bitch because you was in this big ass space by yeah. yourself or whatever and i think my first fucking uh my first session was in the actual studio was with uh Rob from day 26 and shit i was gonna ask you about that i was gonna ask you what's that him dog from yeah. your, uh, that's the project you dropped back in 15 yep yeah, yeah. that was my first like big studio joint with him so, and I, I was in there with an industry nigga for my first time, so it was like on some weird shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I didn't know how to act, and I was a little nigga. I was used to like the little hole in the wall stuff yeah, situations. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that shit was weird, but I ain't, I don't fuck with big studios, bro. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna ask him, I was like, I, I was trying to, you know, I be trying to go down rabbit hole and make sure I can find some stuff to bring up to, you know, surprise the guests. Mm -hmm. And when I seen him, I'm like, damn, is it Rob from Day 26? It yeah. sounds like I'm on the hook and shit, dog. Yeah, so yeah. we did that whole provide record before. The Meek Mills and the Chris Browns and the niggas mm -hmm. did that shit. We had that bitch out first. Hell yeah. You know what I'm niggas the first nigga, <laughs> man. <laughs> Hell yeah. So now, like, what's some stuff, like, you know, y'all do at the crib? What's some stuff that you got to have? To, you know what I'm saying? You got, you, do you need smoke, drink, food, nah, people? I just, I just need the good energy and the vibes, bro. Mm -hmm. Good energy and vibes. I don't need chicks around me. I don't need, I don't really need nobody, to be honest. I don't mm -hmm. need no liquor. I don't need no weed. I don't need nothing, bro. Yeah. I just need the vibes. And yeah. Cash and Miles, they gonna bring me a good vibe. They play their beats, they selling it to me. Mm -hmm. So especially this nigga Cash. Cash is the most like <laughs> energetic nigga when he comes to this nigga. This it right here, nigga. Yeah. Do this. Ah, ah, ah. I What's like up? that type of shit. That yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Make me work quicker. Make me just. I told Cash he got put a song out, man. Yeah. He, 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 cool he's a scary ass. He ain't gonna rap. Yeah. He don't even yeah. want to do a little intro on the record. I'm yeah. trying to get him to do that. For sure. Now Miles, when you creating a beat, like, do you what you need to make to get in your zone? Do you need like? Certain, something special, you guys has a certain thought, you know what I'm saying, a vision, like what, what is it, to make a, you Red, know what I'm saying? Red Bull and hookah. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga, that's it. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I don't need anything in particular. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll just go, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I get, I kind of, Go into this. It's kind of like in, the uh, the movie, The Social Network, like mm -hmm. the in the zone yeah, thing, yeah, yeah, where it's yeah, like, yeah. don't, uh, yeah. Yeah, you just vibe no. out, just, and, just and it's out. always different, you know. Sometimes it's like we've made uh, what I would consider probably some of the better, some of the best songs. Like have been like super short; they were super quick mm -hmm. to make, and then, um, you know, and then sometimes they take a long time. Sometimes it's something that you like save, close, come back, open it, you know, yeah. and then work on it over the course of a long time. All right. Okay. Okay. Now. Uh, Y'all latest project, man, something that y'all did together. Actually, y'all last two projects y'all did together. Mm -hmm. But this latest one, uh, Meet Me on Woodward. Yeah. Uh, talk about that. What made you come up with the title and shit? And, like, and how's the response been to the tape, man? Because 
I, hey, I ain't saying that junk just because y'all next to me. The shit was dope. Like, I was listening to that shit all week at work, you know what I'm saying? Nice. Preparing for y'all to come on this shit. So, like, how you come up with the title and um, what's been the response to it? Well, shit, I had, like I said, I moved to Georgia and, um, shit. You know, Woodward always been my favorite road to go down. And I, I'm yeah. my old school nigga, so I like I got an old school whip in 68 Riviera and shit. So it was like I wanted to make some music that like bring me back home type mm-hmm. shit. Put me out there on 8 Mile that night, you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. with the grass and the sure. water and sprinklers and shit like that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. when it came to meet me on Woodward, it was just like telling my folks back at home, like, when I come home, meet me on Woodward type yeah, shit. Like, yeah, That's where that came. And then he helped with the, you know, the production and he came up with the name with me. So it was like... It made it easy. Yeah, yeah. So how how the response been for it? Oh, I love it. Love yeah. the numbers is great. They still climbing. Um, we got what number two in the works now. We might meet me on number two. Damn, they're done. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Dude, y'all Starting ready? Yeah. The, yeah, hell yeah. Let's just keep this shit going. So, uh, the, the people fucking with that. Now this is for both of y'all. Give me y'all top three tracks on there. Now I got what Chanel, what Chanel Broach. Mm-hmm. Bro- uh, I got uh, Clickbait. Mm-hmm. NFC Hoodlum is the best hard song on there to me. Wow. Yeah, that's the hard song. Wow. Then I'm gonna give a honorable uh, mention is uh say less. Okay. We've been collecting favorites from people like yeah. which is always like the best thing to do yeah, is like good. you ask no, people, that, you know. That, that inner city uh hood them. That, the fir- I think yeah. Yeah, he's the first one that said that one. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the that's, that's my that's my junk. That's the one I let him listen to before y'all even came. Clickbait was the surprise. Oh Click- you wasn't? No. Duh, you talking shit on that motherfucker, dog. I don't even gonna drop that bitch. It was gonna be in the vault. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. I was fighting for it. <laughs> He was, but I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with May Six, Clickbait, and uh, Say Less. Yeah. Mine is uh. Yeah, say Less, you talking shit on Say Less? For sure. Yeah. One of yeah. My <laughs> yeah. I like uh, Spark Blocks. Spark Blocks is probably my favorite, just cause it's like bars. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, dang, uh, Midnight Cruise. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. Ah oh, man, the third one, and then the third one will be difficult. Maybe like mm-hmm. say less or where home is. I really like yeah. the samples of both of those. Damn, but. I'm surprised. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised you gonna leave that motherfucker inner city hooling off, dog. Yeah, bro. Damn. I wasn't feeling it. it was giving me too much hip hop Nas bag. Like I ain't. Maybe that's why I, I, I want yeah, to gravitate right. to that shit. And yeah. I need to stop thinking like that, bro. Yeah. That's the problem. That shit hard. Appreciate it, man. Now we uh. We do this thing called talk about the bars, man. I take yeah. a piece of a line and we we talk about it. Oh shit. Uh, Miles, you be chime in. Uh, on um on meow play, matter of fact, the meow play the, the first track. All right. <laughs> we said, you baby, we just fucking, we ain't never go together. Uh-huh. You ever get to a situation where a young lady where you might be thinking she was just a hitter and she thought it was a little bit more to it, and you had to kind of put her in her place a little bit. I had those situations before. Yeah, you know what I'm saying back before my wife, you feel me? I had. Those oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I had dog. To clean it up, Miss Jones. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she a real nigga. She a real. All right, bad, 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 bad. Uh, <laughs> real one. Had to apologize um, off real. <laughs> nah, she good. Uh, but yeah, bro, I had them situations back in the day. You feel me? During the whole when I was in my performing heavy bag and them groupies was coming around like yeah mm-hmm. yeah nigga had to put his foot down like shorty no this ain't it yeah you know for sure this ain't that and a lot of people a lot, a lot of women don't know when you know yeah. when they just uh you know the yeah. call the three o'clock call after the club which is weird because like <laughs> you hear c- certain stories about yeah. the same motherfucker and then yeah. like the bitch, yeah. and i never took you out yeah yeah i'm always no, seeing you at night so why you expect me to do it for sure don't get sure. to me and try to think but i'm about to wind and die here. <laughs> Craig and Day Day didn't do it. No, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> and again, shout out to Miss Jones, man, the wife, man. I never want to disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Because I'd be kind of scared to say certain things. My wife might watch it. Even though she don't watch it, that one episode she'll watch. Like, oh, for real? Like, Nah, man. You got a good-ass relationship, <laughs> No, bro. for sure. Like, for sure. Shout out. How long y'all been on Merit? Two years now. Oh, shit. Same, yeah. same. Two mm-hmm. years. Uh, I was two years this past July. Yeah, we was a COVID, a COVID couple. I yep, that's how we had. We had 12 people at our, uh, at our wedding. See? <laughs> and then we had a good time, though. We went to Ohio, went to uh, one of those little... Little, little, you know what I'm saying? Intimate rooms and stuff, man. It was yeah, cool. Yeah, we did a low key situation too. And yeah, we was pregnant was. before the wedding, so she. Was getting... Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was, oh, we yeah. really we we got married and had baby Two COVID. Birds, <laughs> one stone right there. So, so we had to reveal and the wedding cake. And all Damn. One. Bam. Found out I had my baby girl, man. It's a girl. Yep. Cry. It's oh, I cried. They could cry from him. Oh, man. You're crying, motherfucker, man. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga crying, motherfucker. He said said this shit about five times now. That was his favorite question. He keep going back to me. He, he just didn't want to feel alone. He, he just was like, like, what? No. you guys crying? <laughs> 
hey. trying to get that relationship. But see, right? my job be, you know, crown that song too. Yeah. Damn, man. Yeah. That shit get me too. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I was mad though. I just came out of nowhere, like, because I got two boys. Uh -huh. So then, like, I saw that motherfucking pink, like, oh, shit. Damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. You I might cry when you seen your wife, too. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Shit, now, if it was like a big thing, maybe, but no, I did not. I, did. I kept okay. a G on that one. I kept right. a player on that one, dog. Me out playing. Me out playing, for sure. Now, uh, on uh, In the City Hillam, you said uh, Bugs on the Bed, Bare Mattresses, and Pissy Covers. Mm. Give me give me a poor, a poor uh, memory, man. Man, my uncle, man, Sonny, he the one that taught me how to walk as a, as a kid. Mm -hmm. Well, was walk like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, look like a real nigga type yeah, thing. Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> but he got addicted to drugs, bro. Okay. Um, a couple years after, you know what I'm saying, being cool with me and teaching me how to walk and watching me. He was mm -hmm. my babysitter. Mm -hmm. And um, shit, bro, like, it was been times so he went missing. And we mm -hmm. had to go find him. Yeah. And that nigga be in them, yeah. in them, in them cribs with them, with them stinking ass, pissy yeah. ass, bed bug ass mattresses. So it's like... That shit took me down to that 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 lane. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It fucked me up. So, yeah, man. Yeah. Them was the moments. So, ain't yeah. none of that. None of that should be capped. Yeah, so, yeah. Man. And them bed bus is hard, motherfucker. Get rid of. <laughs> I moved to Texas and didn't know where I, the apartment I was going to was infested. Mm -hmm. oh, they, hey, hey, I broke my lease, fucked my credit up, everything. Yeah, like, hey, man. I can't do this shit, bro. Yeah, man. My uh, my man, he had an apartment in Southfield back when we was like teens. Mm -hmm. He was one of the first niggas with an apartment, so mm -hmm. it was like one of them. Quick little joints, little yeah, six, seven hundred spot. dollar type shit. Yeah. Like, not probably less than that. Yeah. But uh, nigga, the whole building wasn't fucking infested. Man. Yeah. And that was in Southfield. That yeah. was a nice ass spot. Yeah, for sure. That shit was fucking them up. He had all kind of fucking yeah, red marks, marks and shit. Man, like, yeah. you know, what the fuck? That shit worse than having roaches, bro. That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. Now on May sixth, you say uh, it's hard to say goodbye when you the one people need. Mm. Now that taking me back to like eliminate people, but you know they need you. Mm -hmm. Shit, uh, shit, leaving this earth too early, and your kids and your wife need you. Mm -hmm. Like, do you think about like, like, like situations where you know what I'm saying, like, you want to make sure everything right before, shit, that that shit may approach. You know what I'm saying, death. Like, or shit, I, what was yeah. that bar related to when you were saying that? Shit, that bar was related to like people and f old friends and new friends, whatever. People needing your energy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They need my energy. Mm -hmm. They don't necessarily need a dollar. They don't yeah. necessarily need a place to stay, but they need your energy. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You might have. A certain scenario that will help them out of a situation, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But you got to cut them the fuck out because they holding you back. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For so sure. that shit has something to do with that. But then to fast forward, me getting into this last accident, bro, it was bad, bro. That nigga could have took my life, bro. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, shit. Am I? Would I be straight with my with my wife and my family? Be straight if mm -hmm. I would have left right then and there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And so. as you think about that, man, especially once you become a father or a husband or you know what I'm saying just being a responsible person or the person that everybody look to mm -hmm. you you shit you gotta you know what I'm saying put people in the, in the places or make moves or just make sure you here for the long run that's a fact now uh is it okay for me to ask this next question <laughs> 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 I know you was married yo. <laughs> go for it alright no pressure man go for it. uh everybody you know what I'm saying shit, well, pussy, pussy good you can get the refund <laughs> for my taxes yeah that shit got to be a whole different because you niggas, yeah. we, be, we be waiting for that refund check, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a whole different hit yeah. right there. Yeah, wifey, wifey got all my refunds. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> gotta you take go. it back to her. Wifey got Duh. all my refunds. She got Duh. them all. That's how, for sure. that's for how sure. I put a ring on it right there. <laughs> yeah. Again, did you cry when you proposed up? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I did. I did cry. No, you I didn't cry. cry like a motherfucker. <laughs> This nigga know he cried like that. I can't be, I can't be cool, man. I can't be Soon cool. Soon she said, "I do." Damn, man, you man, man. man. You Miles, you got, do? you got married, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the picture. You ever see yourself get married? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I get married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What well, I said, because you sound like one of the people that probably, is, I don't know you, but it's like you stuck on your job. Mm. Uh, Whatever you do, it's like, like that's you, like you know, what I'm saying yeah, I can be yeah. wrong. Yeah, no, I like. um yeah, I need like my own time and yeah, you know sure. all yeah all my relationships are kind of like I need um I need a little bit of space and like time every now and then because yeah. I do like I care about work yeah. and I want to do certain things and achieve certain things so. for sure for sure but I just make sure you know you just that's those are the people you vibe with the people that respect that yeah so. yeah they got to they got to because uh, what you and you got to be uncompromising with it yeah you can't yeah I know. hey this gonna this gonna help both of us out in the long run that's shit a fact. that's a fact. Uh, on um, Larry to Seth That's a project Y'all did before This one together <clears throat> You say uh, Got judged when my peers Talk about their fathers Like damn I wish I could be With my dad mm -hmm. Like nigga What's that shit Like nigga um, You don't mind me asking Like how old was you When you passed uh, Shit what was that I was 
13? Oh, shit. We same age, yeah. Yeah, I was 13. Yeah, dude. Now, do you be thinking, like, do you ever think about how life would be if he was still around, like, or how you might have been, you know what I'm saying? Because any situation a change the, you know what I'm saying, how everything going in life. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Do you ever think about if he was here, like, how, how things would be for you, whatever? All the time. Yeah. All the time. Because it's like, shit, like I said, everything happened for a reason. So it's like, shit, mm-hmm. I probably wouldn't even be rapping if he was alive. I wasn't thinking about rapping. I was... Trying yeah. to, like, I had hoop dreams during that time when yeah, he was here, so. For sure. I, who knows? I could have did that. Yeah. I could have did something else. I could have been a dope dealer. Who the fuck yeah. knows? Yeah. You know yeah, no, for sure. So, yeah, yeah. I think about it all the time. But, yeah. shit. Yeah, you gotta man. gotta keep pushing with that shit. Now, like I said, my favorite song, man, Aaron City Hoodlum. He said, sons love Dylan, the dogs love the pose, and falling for the push is the only thing they know. Mm-hmm. Like, that that talking to, like, the kids, bro, like, my daughter, hey. Nigga, fall for this dude who got this job, That's like right. you know what I'm saying? You That's try right. That's our son, right. you know, to be a type of person. But right. when you, you know, when you growing up in his life, depending on who you around, who you see, that's how you gravitate that's towards. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that was you was thinking about like that one, like you know what I'm saying? I was Cause... definitely thinking about the daughters and, yeah, and, and the sure. young sons. You feel me? Like shit, be mm-hmm. a role model. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta be the dealer. You ain't gotta be the pusher. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You can be the lawyer. For sure. you, know what I'm saying? you can be the entrepreneur. Shit. No, you, ain't sure. gotta, you ain't even gotta work for nobody. Shit. Yeah. These days a lot of entrepreneurs around this motherfucker. So yeah. Yeah. you're a businessman. You can marry that nigga. You ain't yeah, for sure. Now you lie on this one song, man. Yeah. Cause I ain't feel good today. You said the only time a nigga feel good is on payday. I paid this morning. I didn't feel too good, dog. I was like, dog, yeah, okay. yeah. like, yeah. I had to pay uh, daycare. Oh, rent. All that shit. Like, damn, I don't feel this. Like, you know, you get to Fridays, you don't feel too good, dog. Yeah. <laughs> but you got that, that, that one split no, second for sure. where you wake up and yeah. you see that account, yeah. you be like, ah, for sure, yeah. At least yeah. I can pay this shit, goddamn. Exactly. At least I'm That's what he said. Pay this shit, and a lot of times we don't think like that. We just think about, damn, we uh, here, here, here. Money. It's gone. But mm-hmm. some situations, some jobs, you don't even have make enough money to pay those bills. To even be, say, oh, I'm broke I pay all the bills That's a fact. Sometimes you can be broke And still owe the bills That's a fact You know what I'm saying That's a fucking fact Now last thing I'm gonna say And all due um, respect to the wife mm. You were stingy with the pussy And expecting me not to roam mm. A lot of chicks need to understand And hear that part mm. You can't be stingy you can't be stingy And, not and don't nigga expect your nigga To creep out dog You know what I'm saying Without a good reason yeah, <laughs> You know what I'm yeah, saying and, and, and don't get me wrong Every nigga not gonna creep You feel me mm. I'm, I ain't gonna fucking creep mm. You feel me I'm, I'm, even if I wasn't married, you feel me? I'm not gonna fucking do it. Yeah. But it's like it's other niggas out here who just like need puss, bro. I mm-hmm. need puss too. Don't, <laughs> get, don't get me wrong. For sure. But it's like you know I'm a little bit more strong minded about the shit, and yeah. I know it's pussy. And it's only pussy. Goddamn, like, yeah, relax, yeah, nigga. Yeah. You ain't t- you ain't gotta be that damn sexy. You know? <laughs> yeah, for sure. For but sure. it's like niggas, niggas need puss, bro. Like yeah. I might I might have to do my thing. Yeah, for holding sure. out three four, four months because <laughs> yeah. of some past life shit. Like, I gotta suck. And then another thing. <laughs> <laughs> And think with the past life shit, like if you hold on to that shit, then yeah, yeah, we know how to just go our separate ways, That's dog. Right. Like, if I fucked up in, in May, don't sit here and hold this shit for the rest of the year, dog. Like, nah, you know nah, what I'm saying? Go, man, let man. It go. For sure. Let's do day. Yeah, that's powerful. Give me right that there. shit. Give yeah. me that pussy. But see, back <laughs> back in my younger years, don't dog, hold out on me. you be in a relationship and you and you cheat and you be like. Damn, I could really like I ain't had to do that. Yeah. But you ain't think you just trying to knock everything down. You young, your early twenties and shit, man. You think that's that's what they they tell you? That, you know, older dudes, hey man, you supposed to mess with every chick you can. No. I tell my son now, nah, bro. Hey, it's this thing called herpes, bro. That's, nigga. <laughs> all that shit, bro. That's the shit that like man. I kept in my mind in high school and all yeah, that shit. Bro. Like, I wasn't bro. slanging my shit. Eric, Eric yeah. fucking weird, like yeah, you man. know what I'm saying with them groupies and shit. I was not fucking touching a lot of them. Man, I just be lying like a motherfucker, my niggas. Oh, I smashed. I ain't did nothing. I was at home playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> like, Erica, yeah. yeah, man, for sure. That shit was straight. I don't know. It was all right. I ain't really. Yeah. I ain't gonna go over there again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, nigga, it was cool. It was cool. No, you we ain't got to an argument after, so she don't even talk to me and shit. For sure, that for way sure. they won't go ask her questions and shit. Yeah. About shit. Now I want to add both of y'all since y'all both of y'all producer bad. Do y'all remember when PlayStation had that producing game that you could make beats on? Oh, which Duh. one? PlayStation One, Two. Yeah, I, I want to say Two. It was a game Sounds that you, like two. you could make beats on, dog. That my boy Sean used to be on. And you could make beats from the PlayStation game, dog. I'm gonna to I got to look it up. I'm looking about the we get done. That's different. But everybody used to be on that mud like heavy. Like, and I, I, that's why I knew I couldn't be a producer because I couldn't make a good beat. Mm. Save my life. I ain't on y'all. Yeah, fuck this, man. That was a game, though. Yeah, man. it was a game. It was Damn. a game. Damn. So you probably blocked your blessing from the fucking video. Exactly, game. dog. Exactly. You're supposed to download FL Studio. Man, so for sure, man. Because the thing about it, like you said, you could be however old making beats, bro. Yep. You never too old to be a producer. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Now we get to the end, man. Mm-hmm. Of this shit, man. What's uh what's some shit that you you know what I'm saying hate dealing with, man, with being an artist, bro? 
that you hate that you gotta deal with on a day day to day? Politics. Mm-hmm. I hate the politics of the shit. I hate having to fucking. I'm not. A, I'm, I'm a people's person. I ain't gonna lie. I'm outgoing and shit like that. But I hate going to uncomfortable situations and shit mm-hmm. like that. Like I hate having to go out my way to speak to somebody or like kiss some ass to get sure. a, a, a shrimp. You know yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Like, for sure. I just wish it was more organic and like people just like I said earlier, just have an open mind and mm-hmm. check the shit out. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And this is for both of y'all. What's your definition of success, man? Personally. Mm. I'm gonna let you start with this one, Miles. We need, we need that white version so I, so I can cheat and get new money. Hey, cuts and stuff. <laughs> um, at this point, like I said, I, I'm like, I'm fully in for like the journey. I'm like, at this point, I really like the journey more than uh, mm-hmm. the accomplishment. So mm-hmm. like, whether something is bad or good, mm-hmm. I just feel like it's like, you know, part of the book. Like, sure. there's another page. And I'm just into like, living out a great book. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So... Um, but I mean, ultimately it's, I think what everyone wants, you want to be able to, uh, you know, be comfortable. I don't even, affluence would be cool, Mm -hmm. but it's like, as long as you can kind of not care about a price at a restaurant, Mm -hmm. like you don't have to calculate and you can go and get some clothes and not like be looking at tech as long as you get there and Mm -hmm. then you're doing something you enjoy. I mean, I don't think there's anything else. And then. After that, it's yeah. like all bonus, you yeah. know. So no, I'm with you with that whole not having to pull out the calculator and right. you know saying you going to the grocery store though. Like hold on, hold on, a plus. Oh yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. you you got a whole different demeanor when you got the bridge card. You know every every, every <laughs> time, every time you add something <laughs> to the <laughs> cart, you're like tortillas five dollars. Hell and then yeah, you're like eighteen dollars. Sure. Mm-hmm. You like damn, put 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 that uh, lettuce back. <laughs> put Let, that salad back. Lettuce only a dollar eighty six. <laughs> But now you see, you need to drop something else. But take the Gatorades off. Hell yeah, for real, dog. Damn. Yeah, Hell like yeah. That. What about you? Uh, uh, um, I'm gonna say my shit, bro. The success. I'm gonna say uh, being comfortable mm-hmm. and happy, bro. Mm-hmm. You know for what sure. I'm saying? Like you ain't gotta have all the money in the world. You ain't gotta have all the flyer shit. But mm-hmm. as long as you're comfortable, bro, all your bills is paid. You're not stressing about the next bill or no shit like that, mm-hmm. bro. I feel like I'm good. What's, what's your biggest regret so far? If y'all have one. I ain't got no regrets, bro. Mm-hmm. I ain't got no regrets, bro. I I done ran through a lot of cheese. I could regret that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Always, but, re- always shit, regret I learned yeah. from it. For sure. So it's like, I know not to do it again. I yeah. know where to put it at now. So it's like, yeah. and I don't consider it a regret. Mm-hmm. So no, I ain't got no regrets. No, Miles ain't got a regret. No, <laughs> no, no. I, don't. I don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> do everything straightforward. Hell yeah. I like, no, I like how everything's turning out. Yeah, yeah for sure. Hell yeah, man! What y'all, what y'all, what y'all advice for a new artist or a new producer? It's my up and coming. Like, what's some do's and don'ts, man, with this with this motherfucking music industry? Man, get you a team. I, that's the first thing yeah, I was gonna man. say. Get you a team. For sure. Invest in yourself. Whether yeah. that's recording your own music, mixing your own shit, bro. Study the game, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, get on YouTube, bro. Mm-hmm. And learn that shit, bro. Yeah. Watch those shits for hours and learn it. Now, when y'all say team, y'all got, like, cameramans, this, this, that. Oh, but we do it all ourselves, For bro. sure, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I, if I can't film, he can. Mm-hmm. If he can't edit, I can. Mm-hmm. If, if if he can't produce something today, Cash can. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Cash is a good talker. So, if I, I go out with Cash and I don't feel like networking, woo, woo, woo. Yeah, Cash going to grab They going to gravitate to Cash and bring them into me. And I, For sure. And that'll ease up the things. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's like, yeah. it's a team, but it's, it's a small team, but we all. No, for sure. I make it work. Yeah. And we learn, we learn whatever we need to do. Like, right. we learn how to. Uh, you know, I don't care if we've never opened up a video editing thing. We'll just learn how to do Adobe Premiere, learn how to film, learn how to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, you know, you just need people to have. You need to find out what are the most irreplaceable things you need or mm-hmm. the hardest things to learn. Get people on your team who do that. Mm-hmm. And then uh, if you're not disciplined enough to learn the things outside of that, then yeah. then yeah. call it. Are y'all, you look, know. are y'all looking for like other artists to add on to the, to the team or y'all just like? We're looking for other producers. Okay. Uh, I, I feel like it'll be selfish right now for another artist because it's like it, it takes so much time to break an artist and so much money to fucking put into an artist, bro. We ain't trying to do all that yeah, right now. For sure. like, yeah. Producers, these niggas can carry themselves. They yeah. can walk in their building and in that studio and sell their own records. Like, for sure. Oh, they don't need me for that. Hell yeah. So it's like, no, nah, at the moment, we're not looking for artists, but we are looking for producers. For sure. Do you ever be uh, mad as far, as far as people who like steal YouTube beats and you a producer? No, because because I like 
again, that when I talk about that stubborn thing, like I almost like doing things the hard way. I, I've never sold beats mm-hmm. that I made, and I never like put them up anywhere. Like mm-hmm. I've only just gone on like, if I'm doing it, because if if music as an industry is like notoriously hard to make money off of, yeah, for sure. That, um, then the only reason to do it is because you enjoy doing it. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to find a, a different route to actually make money, mm-hmm. do this because I like it, and then I'm going to send it to, I'm just going to let whoever has X amount of dollars buy it and then ruin it. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. that's not going to happen. For I'd sure. rather just personally send it to the people yeah. that I want. So it's like... So you don't want no trash rapper on your beat. Mm. No. Like, yeah. you know, no matter how much he gave you for the beat. Like, Even if I'm trash, I'm yeah. going to get better, and then yeah. either no one's going to use it, and I'm gonna know that I'm trash, or <laughs> it's gonna be good enough that people are gonna use it. So, for sure. For sure. Now, I ask this: making a band, we all know what making a band is. For sure. You mean on making a band, you four other artists, it could be rappers, singer, producers, and Miles. I want your making a band be you and four other artists that you want to work with, as far as the, you know, saying behind your sound. Damn. I, yeah. Industry or like from the crib, a little. However you want to play it. Alright. I would want to uh, do some shit with. Uh, I'm gonna stay local. Because we're okay. in the city, so I'm gonna stay local. I would like to do some shit with. Uh, some more shit with Payroll and mm-hmm. Chavis Chandler. Okay, so that's two. You, you um, Them two, we got two more. I would like to do something with. Uh, mm, damn, I'm already working with my niggas Cash and Mob. Yeah. Shout out to Payroll, man. I'm still still need you on the show, cuz. Damn. <laughs> yeah, pull up, man. Pull up. Stop bullshitting. Um, <laughs> uh, man, that's a hard one, bro. Cause I ain't really that tapped in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause I just listen to my my. Uh, give me shitting. give me two from the industry, then. You got two oh, Detroit shit. ones. You got you got Payroll. You got uh. All what's... right, I'm gonna be some weird shit. Kid Cudi. Okay. It ain't even weird, but yeah. Uh, Kid Cudi, Travis Scott. And DJ Khaled. Yeah, yeah. Be, the, 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 the Miles, who, who, you, who you work with? You and four other people, man, making your album, man. Producers, mm. singers, rappers, whatever. You want to collab with somebody on some production tip? Just you and four other people. It's the Miles album. Oh, man. Well, if I was going to industry, producer wise, I'd have to uh, go Kanye. Okay. Uh, just because, especially doing samples, you just automatically get compared in For that sure. direction. So, uh, that. Um, Dang. I like the idea of keeping it in the city too, but uh, I don't know. Um, it's hard to say because, like I said, I don't even send the stuff anywhere. I, yeah. I'm almost like more into the idea of being more like a forty. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Uh, as a producer, where it's just like, no, it's just hustle, huh? Mm-hmm. If I personally know you, maybe mm-hmm. we could do a, a little thing. Mm-hmm. I'm, I might, I might say that we have to put the hustle on logo on it too, though. For sure, for sure. And yeah, then. Yeah. Uh, but outside of that, like I just like keeping it in the team, and then, uh, like we grow together. Mm-hmm. You know, we all get continue to get better. For sure, for sure, I got you, I got you. Now we always and before we get the drum moment, hot moment, mm-hmm. we do a t- uh, versus, man. I give you, you know, what I'm saying two things, two people. Y'all tell me who'll win. All right, all right. But uh, burgers versus tacos. Tacos. Hundred percent. All right. Summertime gear versus fall gear. Fall all day. Same. Oh, J versus Nas. Shit. <laughs> Nas. Really? Nas. All right. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Thanksgiving. Save me some money. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go Christmas. Dang. All right. Rap now versus the nineties. Nineties. Easy. Yeah. Nine. Uh, yeah. Nineties. Yeah, All right. Take away everything R. Kelly did. R. Kelly versus Usher. Kills. Same. BG versus Juvenile. Shit. Damn, man. I fuck with Baby Gangster, man. Ah, yeah. uh, shit, man. But Juvie was different, man. I'm going to go with Juvie. Yeah, yeah same. Juvie. Now, as an overall brand, this is everything mm. that they got going on. Master P versus E40. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know these was my favorite niggas before you? Nope. That's crazy. Damn. Because these, these two people, if I was somebody in the industry, well, I'd be going to them and get all type of game. I'm, I'm going to go E40. 
I'm gonna go E40, and, and, and that's out of respect for Pete. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. E40 been doing it for a long time, yeah, a billion yeah. albums, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> Liquor, horns, you know yeah. What I'm saying? Like, I'll take that. Even though Pete got cereal chips, yeah, yeah, noodles, yeah, yeah for sure. He got grits now, yeah, pancake yeah. mix, right? kind of waters, nigga. Yeah, condoms, nigga. Yeah, for sure. Like, you want these? You know, no herbs. Get these Master P's. These <laughs> Master P's. <laughs> There's something that seems more intentional with E40, though. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, Master P almost is more like like a Kirkland signature. You know what I mean? Like, whereas, like, E40, um, it just seems like he actually, like... I get that. I get what you're saying. That, John. Yeah. It's just all the way down to even his image and the way he is. It's all cohesive. Sure. And it seems very intentional. And, yeah. you know. I know. Shout out to Corey for giving me a Kirkland vodka, dog. That shit killed me, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I should have drunk that shit. Manny Fresh versus Swiss Beats. Manny. But you? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I'll probably go Swiss. Yeah. Mm. All right. Now, this is Respect. creamy macaroni versus that stiff macaroni. Like when the cheese is just in that mud, you got to kind of like carve it almost. Creamy. You got the creamy man? Oh, yeah. you first do it? With the it? stiff, you mean like oven? Like, yeah, like, it's like you got to Yeah, like, I'll go that. Yeah, but that usually, the oven is usually stiff on the top, that's creamy what on the that's bottom. That's what I mean. Like, it's okay, like the, okay. the, the, no, no, I'm saying creamy like that, though. I'm talking about like that, that KFC creamy. No, hell no. Yeah, okay. My bad, I'll take it back then. Yeah. Like Velveeta type. Yeah, yeah no, hell no. Hell <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, 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 shit, Thanksgiving, you want a honey baked ham or you want a fried turkey? If y'all have fried turkey. Fried turkey. Right. I'm going ham. Yeah, ham all day. I'm I miss ham up, dog. What would you more excited for? Open up a CD cover? I mean, a CD, you know what I'm saying? Breaking the CD plastic? Mm. Or open up a magazine? Like when you got the double SL and like, like in the plastic? Yeah, like what's, what's, what was more exciting to you? Like breaking that magazine open or breaking that CD open? CD. Yeah, CD, mm. the smell. Yeah. Like, as soon as you, <laughs> like, it just smelled like plastic and, like, mm -hmm. raw industrial products, but it smelled <laughs> great. And then yeah. you would, and, shit and, and the and book, book. Yeah, yeah, the book sure. was amazing. No, what's the best smell? New shoe smell or new car smell? Damn, that's a good one. I'm going to go car. Yeah, car. Because it lasts longer. Well, shit, seeing I ain't had no cool new cars. I be mean, <laughs> I mean, getting used cars. Dang. Ain't nothing like some new Jordans. <laughs> ain't nothing like some new Jays. Dang. Hey, when you young, dog, you, dog, you, oh, you like in fifth grade? For real. Dog, for I, sure, I, dog. I still smell my shoes when I get them. Yo, it's, just, it's, it's a habit, bro. You mm -hmm. got to do it, dog. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm about to, uh, I'm going to have a new car smell pretty soon. Only thing, my, the closest thing to a new car smell is that, uh, that, 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 that little green, uh, blue tree. That's a new car city, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, man. For sure. Let's hey, man, we in everything with a drunk moment or a high moment, man. All right. If y'all got a story, let me know. There's a funny story when y'all was drunk, high, or both. Oh, I got a drunk one. And I'm about to pull up with my man and who I, this shit happened with, bro. So, uh, damn, this is some college shit. I was yeah. in school. Okay. Um... We went to this party, bro. We was crispy, nigga. I was fly as hell. You mm -hmm. feel me? Smelling good. Ah, I'm like, yeah, I know I'm about to get the bunnies tonight. Yeah, for sure. It was all, it was all white joints around the school. So I'm like, I know I'm getting white tonight. <laughs> so uh, niggas go out, bro. Niggas get wasted. That's back when niggas was drinking fucking trash ass Amsterdam and shit like that. And Pinnacle and fucking. Pinnacle, God damn. God damn. I don't even think Tito's was around during that time, but it was. If that was around, it probably would have been that too. Fuck with the tea. Nice apples and bananas and shit. Oh shit, yeah, 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 he was going yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then you got trash, bro. They had a septic fucking tank yeah. in the middle of the fucking grass, bro. Yeah. And the party was outside. Yeah. So I'm walking, talking on the phone and some shit. I'm drunk as hell. Woo woo, bro. I fucking <laughs> fell into the fucking septic tank, no. nigga. <laughs> Up to about yay high, my nigga. Fuck your whole crispy. Whole crispy, man. My J's was through. I just got them shits. They was the Laney fives. Damn. To make it I remember them ones. That was the, the blue and white. Yes, yep. the Damn, them was crispy. Hard. Hard. Yeah, I remember those, boy. Them shits was done. Trash. Threw them in the trash. Was sick. Was fucking sick. And then after that shit, this, this makes the story even crazier. That was like fucking two in the morning. After that, we went to fucking Denny's to get some food. That was the only thing that was open at the time. <laughs> we go outside leaving. And hold on, hold on. So you still like wet? Like no, I went back to the uh, okay. man's dorm. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Went back to my man's dorm. <laughs> that would have been out of place at Denny's nah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas didn't even want me in the whip. I damn near had to ride on the roof type Duh. shit. But um, yeah, after that shit, got dressed, whatever, went to Denny's. We leaving. It's about four in the morning, bro. Mm. Some redneck white boys mm. in a fucking pickup truck riding down. Niggas! 
threw a fucking eggs at niggas and damn. I got the egg. Nigga, I, I just got out the shower and damn. got dressed again. <laughs> nigga. I get eggs. You got shot like Ricky with the eggs. Bam, bam, bam. bam. It's fucked up. I had to go back in the room. That was it. Damn, I'm about to say, yeah, I would have just went home, dog. I didn't get no puss, no nothing, nigga. I just went back. You got room. drenched with the water. Two way J's. Shitty water, nigga. Yeah. Two way J's. Got Boys in Hood, Ricky shot with the eggs, man. Mm -hmm. At that point, I had my man's clothes on. <laughs> I ain't had no clothes. It was a one night type of situation. Duh. I had to put this nigga clothes on. This nigga wore size 12 shoe, <laughs> I'm 10 and a half and shit, nigga. Duh. Nah, he talking shit because I ain't got eggs in his shit. Like, yeah. Nigga, it was my fucking problem. Got eggs and crease his shoes up because you walking in them was. <laughs> Damn. Duh. He gave me as crispy as fit that he thought he had at the time. Yeah. You know, I was on my fly shit type yeah. of shit. Duh. I don't fuck that old shit up, man. Funny as hell. You remember what yeah. the uh, fit was you had that got, uh, that you had to throw away? <sighs> Fubu? No, it wasn't Fubu. No, it was before nah. that. I had the J's on. I had the Levi 501s. Oh, you got to got got, got, got be 501. They was crispy as hell. Yeah. Then I think it had like a white tee on. It was yeah. some basic shit in the hoodie probably. Yeah, yeah. Damn, them J's are hard too. Man, the ladies was all you needed, bro. Yeah, yeah. What about you got a junk moment, man? Hot moment? I don't know if I'm going to follow that. Yeah. I mean, I've done like little stupid stuff. Yeah. Crazy little events here and there but no nothing, nothing, nothing like falling in a septic yeah. tank it. man damn, this thing, I don't wish that on nobody bro damn but yeah, I cried during that moment no <laughs> <laughs> man, 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 we, we good <laughs> I would cry those days too dog it was hard I had them was man damn that pinnacle though that New Amsterdam vodka. It's still some, taste some, it right now. Yeah, somebody, yeah, that just, somebody down here was they had some pool table love off the New Amsterdam dog. Mm -mm. Let me tell the story out the camera dog. Yeah, but that junk, but Tito's is cheap. But if you miss Tito's with uh, uh, Arizona tea, the little half um, mm -hmm. lemonade half tea, oh that junk tastes like boy that junk tastes marvelous. Dog. Real the Arnold Palmer joint. Yep. Mm. But now nah, I'm uh, he ain't got me stuck on the West name. I heard you mentioned that on one of your songs, dog. The Maker's Mark. Yes. I'm stuck on I'm stuck on the bourbon whiskey, bro. Yeah, I've been on that I'm on type that of kick. wave yeah. with my cigars and shit lately. Yep, yep, that's not like, fuck with him on some grown man junk, dog. Yeah, man. Yeah, fuck the cognac, the vodka. Nah, the... I'm just sipping that super yeah. old fashioned. Cause you I feel might... different, and you don't have like no hangover afterwards, bro. Nah, nah. And I like over the years, I I fucking got GERD now, so it's mm -hmm. like I get that like terrible ass <laughs> gas no, for sure. shit from like. Hennessy and all that type oh, of shit. See, I wouldn't dare drink no Hennessy. Yeah, but when I sip on my whiskey and shit, I'm straight. Yeah, hell yeah, man. I'm straight. Well, shit, man. Like I said, man, I appreciate y'all coming, man. Sure, man. I appreciate the dope music, man. Y'all putting man, out there. Shit, bro, you doing your thing, bro. You For sure. fucking flowers, bro. You man. can kill y'all. Oh, yeah, man. I appreciate Dance, it. Bro. You asking the good questions, bro. You, yeah. You're not all research. over the place. You yeah. do your research, bro. Man, I shit, try. It's two of us, you know what I'm saying? You handle both of us the right way. You didn't try. just focus on one person. You... Yeah. There's nothing worse than trying to do an interview too, and then like somebody hasn't even heard anything, right. like they yeah. haven't listened to anything. For sure, you know? for sure, for sure. Oh, yeah, I hate when people um invite people on the show and don't know shit about the music. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, listen to the music. And I'm the type of dude I want to. I just want to hear as much good music as I can. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you might fuck it, with it. Yeah, if you if you are a known artist, if you're not, like, I just want to hear some good ass music. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tell him like, dog, this, hey, this nigga hard. I told him like, uh, early like, hey, cuz hard, dog, like. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And it goes the other way, too. Like, it's always annoying. Even on, like, you know, mainstream platforms, it's always annoying uh, from your side of it where it's like you could tell a guest doesn't even know what they're going to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, they're just they're just doing something because they think it's, like, going to be promotional for them and then they don't even, they mm -hmm. haven't watched a, a second of yeah, anything. Yeah, you know exactly, what I mean? Exactly. Hell yeah, I think it's man. important for people who are going to come on here to, like, Watch yeah. at least an episode, yeah. let alone For a couple. Sure. Hell yeah, because you don't want to get run into somebody. Like, what? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I ask these questions. Like, yeah, you know exactly, what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I say I didn't know about the wife, but you said wife good. So, God oh, never yeah. asked no questions. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be disrespectful and for shit. For sure, for sure. Hell yeah, man. It's like I said, shout out again, Miss Jones. You're good. We good. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, y'all want to leave people with some uh, some encouraging words, man? Any motivational <clears throat> words? Shit, keep going. You know what I'm saying? Be patient. Wait your turn. You know what I'm saying? Bless other folks, bro. For sure. Don't block no blessing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Good energy, good vibes, bro. Just live your life. Focus on yourself and your family. And just go from there. For sure, man. What about you, Bob? You want to leave somebody with some positive words, man? Oh, no, bro, bitch. Yeah. It, <laughs> if you're going through something right now and it's difficult, uh, listen to me, me, I'm over. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. The answer, the answer. Dude, oh, yeah, you gonna give music. up everything, That's man. You're going to get dope bars, dope production, man. <laughs> ain't too long, ain't too short. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, it's some good shit, man. Ride down 8 Mile. Ride down Woodward. Facts. Jefferson, man. Facts. 
it, it, it's crispy enough that you let the window down a little bit, get that breeze if you drunk. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> get you together, man. Mm -hmm. Wake your ass up a little bit. Yep, yep, yep. Well, yeah, like I said, I appreciate y'all coming on, man. Sure. Showers, everybody, man. Episode 135, Voice of Detroit, Podcast MVP, man. We out.